that cat. What's go what's Friday? We're live. Did you say what's yeah. What I was gonna say what's going on and it's Friday. And Suki is already on a terror. <laughs> I'm sure that comes across super well on on the mic. We're we're building oh my god. It's like she's being beat. If we weren't the only two here, she's running on the wheel for attention. Anyway, we're building a mega truck tonight. Fish is here. Who's here? Fish. fish. I talked to Fish. Oh. Talked to Fish today. Hi, Alex. Hello, everyone. I have never built a SMT 10 kit. I think it's probably one of the only axial kits I had never built. What is it? Monster truck. <laughs> now, uh, this is going to be a mud truck. So it's got J Concepts Dragon Wheels and some J Concepts Fling Kings and all that good stuff. We're also putting Proline shocks on it. So they're already built. So many things to speed this along. So yes, that is the plan for this evening. It was Nicole's birthday on Wednesday. They already said happy birthday. Thank you very much. Thank we, you. We celebrated on Wednesday, but you know, kind of. What we do? We I don't know. You got. We spent so much time together. Not that. Don't you? You don't remember? No. It's because you fell asleep watching Naked and Afraid. I let Primetime RC happy 25th, Nicole. Take it. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Let's get that out of the way. Let's get that over with. <laughs> Nobody. Um, Nobody mentioned the birthday. No, I mean, it's fine. It's just, you know. Yes. It's over. It's over now. Yeah, I don't have to worry about it. For a while, like a year even. The amount of people watching matches my sister's cholesterol number. <laughs> That's, I don't even know how to take that. Uh, I don't either. <laughs> Hi, Chief. It's building it. Suki. What is wrong with that cat? I don't know. Now you don't have to worry about it until next time. Right. Right? Yes. That was, uh. We're not the thing. Everyone's doing it. We're not huge birthday people. No, I got to see Emmett. My Emmett called me and sent me a message. Yes. And that was really all I cared about. So I got my, my birthday wish and I told him that and he was very happy when I said that. I said. We both watched the video like nine times. Oh yeah. But I said, oh my goodness. I. <laughs> this is all I wanted for my birthday. I get to see the best face in the world. This is the best birthday gift. And he was super excited. So, so proud of himself. Yeah. David Urban, thank you. Gave us $5. Thank you, David. Um, get your cat some pants. Well, you guys don't have to worry about it after. <laughs> yeah. What does he got? He's got only a couple, got weeks, a couple of, weeks left. A couple of weeks of the, of the dangling left. Yeah. And then it's time for... Oh my gosh, I finally picked up a VS410 Pro. Everything went together great, but I noticed the knuckle is slightly rubbing on the rod and pan hard. Yeah, that's just, it's going, you know, at an extreme angle, it will start to touch there. It's not really a big deal. It's just the plastic. It'll either, it'll be fine. It's not something to really worry about. If you're super worried about it, drive it a little bit, and then that will not rub anymore. <laughs> it will set performance machine itself. But yeah, it's just to get the most angle out of it. There's a little bit touches there. This can't come with a body. No, it does not. Um, Gunner Nissen. I built that techno of his that one night. Uh, um, and I delivered that to him. We met at Harbor Freight and we traded. Oh, that was sweet. Yes, he's the jerky guy. So, yeah. I didn't get any jerky. All right. I've got jerky for you in the car if you'd like to try it. Is it hot? It, it's got warning labels on oh, it. I'm good. I'm almost afraid to try it again. Um, it's called Armageddon. Okay. When are you going to do a video on the Castle Copperhead 10? I'm curious what motor you paired with it. 
Yeah. Um, as soon as I have a truck that I need to put it in, I guess that's the thing. Um, <laughs> that, that's what I, yeah. Okay. Um, hang on. I, sorry. Today is my daughter's B-Day. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Got a bearded dragon. And oh, Darcy yeah. would have been less work, but she had to have a lizard. I love it. It's my style. You do love lizards. I, do. I did. I do. Um, I have a fast hi from Sweden. Oh, you want to see something? Uh, Nicole's definitely a keeper, but the truck is someone else's. Alex is just so sweet. Look. Yes. Oh, that's, I don't like that. That's weird. <laughs> I don't like that. You don't, you like, don't like it? it? It is slightly in the middle. No. There, there. <laughs> yeah, that's when I pick my nose, is when, you're, when you do the overhead camera. You think? <laughs> no, I don't like that. I'm, I'm going, going to. No, you can get it. I, I, I always have us on there. You should do that. that because because uh, uh, you're, you're still, still on there when you're on the overhead camera. camera. Right? Obviously. Obviously. Um, yeah, but kid, I don't like that. I do. No. It's fun. It's not fun. It's bizarre. You can, like, like point at things. things. You can be Vanna White. You love Vanna. I like Vanna for Vanna. Like, like, nobody, nobody likes me. I mean, Vanna's great, 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 <laughs> um all right do you hear something like a super annoying cat yeah dale see we're homeless we had five offers all well over asking price now we're on the dreaded oh congratulations they sold their house we were right by you right by it yeah. right by you almost next door uh, hello, Salinas Valley Scalers. Oh, and a fan noise. That's because... A fan noise? Oh, that, yeah. Normally that noise would happen, but I cut I it out. still have. What? An echo? Um, no. Camp and think... crawl tomorrow at Flat Nasty. Hey, we haven't been to Flat Nasty in a long time. Did you go there with us? <sighs> I don't remember. It was the St. Louis G6. No. Yeah. No. Oh, you went to no, the one I where didn't. we, when it was at uh, the like gears and guts no, or something. Any idea when VFD Dig will be back in stock? Just got to watch. They go up all the time. You just got to catch them when they're in stock. Are those gears plastic? Nope. They are centered like a cast, basically. These are actually cast gear. Um, what company do you work for? Vanquish Products. Where's the King of the Streets video? I know. That one has been such a... I spent so much time editing that. Could not get it to be a fun video to watch. Back and forth. Trying some... I don't know. And then I get... I hate when it starts getting old and it's just... I don't know. It's super disappointing when that happens. Quack RC, give us $2. Thank you. Happy late birthday, Nicole. Very cool. Bill Josh, thank you. Thank you, Quack RC. I hope that baby's doing well. Um, Mike Philpott says, I opened the Vanquish tools. Quality is amazing. Great job designing those. Those are very fun. I... Smahomish. 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 Why do I know Smahomish? Because we... What that was the county that we were in. Oh, that's right. Because we had to look it up for the marriage license. That's right. And figure out how to spell it. Yeah. Like S-M-Homish. Yeah. Um, make sure you shim the ring and pinions and the axles. They're just an AR-60. <laughs> Can you say hi to me, Trent E. Dean? Hello. Hey. Trent E. Dean. Um, I was hoping this would be a Brass Hole 2021 Bronco build. That's going to be an edited video. You need to shim the axle pinions on the axles once on each side. I don't really need to put this in there. Um, I mean, yeah. Um, They're AR-60 axes. They've been built a million times. A dancing rider. Yes. <laughs> Where's next scale national is going to be located at next year? I'm probably um, going to see you there in Little Rock, Alabama, right? Yes. It's uh, Cherokee Rock Village. 
Little Rock City, where we were at nationals, where you met oh, Rick okay. and all those guys. Fun. After nationals is next year. But the Bass Place. Yeah. The crappie place. Well, I don't know if we're that will be the host hotel. Well, Fish. Will that be the host hotel? That better be the host hotel. I mean, <laughs> if I don't see a grown man shit in a ten foot crappie, I'm gonna be. Pissed. That was way bigger than ten feet. Okay. <laughs> like <laughs> that was that crappie was enormous. <laughs> I should probably pull up the photo so people understand what. Doesn't no. 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 I have it. It's on my favorites in my phone. Nope. My grandparents were down from California visiting my five-year-old nephew was talking to my grandpa and said, you're old. Is your brain dried up? Yeah. I mean, I, mean, yeah. I feel that. Yeah. Brian Sherwood, thank you. Thank you, Brian. I tried to go 550 for a 10% increase. Wouldn't let me. <laughs> X. <laughs> I approve, Brian. XO Froggy gave us $5. Thank you. Another mud truck. First vid I saw of yours was a mud truck build with beadlocks for the king flings. I kicked myself oh, yeah. for not getting those for mine. I, I ended up selling that truck to a guy in... Tempe? Where was he? SoCal, I think. Um. Um, are you running open dips? Yes. In next up, people will be telling him how to build a VS four ten. Oh, I'm sure some people will stay at that hotel. Uh, me, I want to stay there. It was actually a super nice hotel. It was a nice hotel. You do realize that was like eleven years ago, right? No, it wasn't. <laughs> yeah. So been together for 11 years. We've been together for 10 years. Okay. We started in 2011. It's 2021. Yeah. Okay. So there, unless, like, unless there's something you aren't telling me, I don't think I was there 11 years ago. Well, okay, 10. Either way. Either way, that was... I'm sure it's so nice. They were, they kept, they were nice. They were great people. They were great people. I'm just saying... Bat at crap. Unofficial. Una unofficial. I'm okay with unofficial. Like, yeah, pick your battles, Josh. Like, I mean, you were just a teenager. I was smuggling you around know, at the time. Right? Are you? Are you from Florida? <laughs> uh, what does that mean? <laughs> what are you sipping on that other bottle of wine, Josh? Um, let's, this is a, uh, rose. a rose. I just, I think we should get you a rose all day shirt. Yeah. Sean Burrell gave us $10. Thank you. For Thank you, Sean. Nats, seeing you guys tonight and the kittens makes our Friday night better. Thanks for all you guys do. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Um, Jimmy Keen's despoiling his internal wind by a lot has got some picking flat rail chassis yet. <laughs> what motor is your brace scale? Uh, it is a Holmes Crawlmaster Magnum Stubby. It's a very nice, very, but although expensive, brushed motor. Um, that one, that truck is going to get some work here in the next six days because I've got to take it to Colorado next week. Missed the crawl at r &H tonight. Barf, my cat, chewed my servo wire again. Uh, oh. <laughs> and I'm glad we don't have chewers. Thank you, Bob A. Thank yeah. You. Yeah, that is, that is very true. I mean... Chief is in that kitten phase where he's kind of got a little bit of a gnaw. You got to watch him every once in a while, but he's not like an actual. You've never had a chewer. No. I had someone eat paper. And anything that was food. Well, yeah. I'm trying to train Chief. Comfortable. Chief is, is he's a food, he's a food hound. Oh, we're training him. Yeah. To not be a food hound. He's training you. I don't give him food. He's just so damn cute that sometimes when you make a sandwich, you have to give him some. That's not helping, Josh. It's only when I'm making a sandwich. Barf has a thing for just plugs. Just plugs? Earplugs? At least what? they're not plugged in. Like plugs, don't you have plugs on your batteries? Oh. Um, 
At least it's not something plugged in. Well, I mean, it's a short-lived problem. This is really good. I had to stop at the store on my way home. Nicole had requested the new Guinness cold brew, nitro cold brew. And then I picked up myself a bottle of rosé. <laughs> What's next? Button up shirts and words like chuffed. Chuffed. That's t shack or window, t -shack, window right. guy. I could really use you. <laughs> uh. Where's the thick boy shirt? <sighs> Mike J. Yeah, they're, they're very good. I, I'm, I'm happy. Did you see Matt Rift video yet? Oh, I saw it uh, a couple of days ago. And I, well, it was a great video. I haven't, I mean, now that it's live, I haven't watched it again, but I will. Um, to make I sure he gets the view. Dale, I think that he is too active. He is already running on the wheel and all of that. For what? To be a fifth boy. Chief? Yeah. I'm just wondering, like, how, how big is he going to continue to get? I don't know. His paws are so big. Yeah. Is rosé fermented pineapple and sea salt? Ugh. Matt the other night was drinking a fermented pineapple and, but yeah. Like, what do you mean drinking it? There was like in a can and it was alcohol, like an a like a fermented pineapple oh, ale. It's with... just pineapple and beer. Yeah. There's just so many pineapple somebody left out on the counter too long. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they threw salt in it. <laughs> Yep, pretty, pretty much. <laughs> so, yeah, but, you know, what Matt does. Does VP make overdrive gears for SCX and 2? I only see underdrive gears. No, nope, only underdrive. Yeah. Standard and underdrive. Because oh. that's the best combination. Do you use a 20 millimeter VP horn for the BFD dig? Oh boy. I think, why do I think I use a 24? I think I use a 24. If I'm calling correctly, my oh, camera's being all weird. Apparently, fermented pineapple is a thing. Hmm. Never knew. My camera's being weird. Oh, good night. I don't like that. That camera's not weird. weird. It's so Oh, oh. It's just... There. That now it won't echo. I don't like this. I know, but that other camera's being weird for a second, so we're gonna try something. We are located in California. Um I'm building a mega mud truck for autism awareness. Josh, will you share some of my apple pie ASD? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I joined the Ripper 2 Facebook page today. Jimmy Keen says 24 millimeter. Uh, I will not join that page. RC Pat Did somebody actually the, make it? Yeah. Oh, that's hilarious. Declined the invite. Who is it? I don't know. I declined the invite. You didn't. Did. You took. You. Declined. You are no fun. <laughs> Did you really? Yes. You know what I mean? I get invites for pages all. Obviously. Nope. Nope. Declined. I had to decline it out of principle. No. Yeah. No. Yeah, like. Why did Phoenix time him out for that? It's a rule now. Oh, stop. Don't do that. No, <laughs> don't do They know it even. No. <laughs> they know. That's the rule. That's one of our super nice guys. He knows. That's the rule now. I don't, this is so bizarre, Josh. What? This. Why? It's weird looking at the screen. I don't, I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> don't time people out for that. That is silly. It's a rule. Getting a timeout's a badge of honor. Mm. <laughs> 
Hmm. Um, are oh, what? They keep doing it. Yes, it's a rule. Stop it. <laughs> You know what I need to do is I can just add it to the banned words list. So anytime they post it, it just doesn't show up anymore. You're so annoying. That's what I'm doing next YouTube time. YouTube stream with rules is like having a serial number to get on a Facebook group. <laughs> I'm, oh, or I'm on the wrong side. Yeah, because you're, you have a hard edge on one side and it looked weird. It cut you off. What does that mean? This looks better. Okay, but I don't. This is so bizarre, Josh. I don't. It's it's a, a good combo. <laughs> what? Okay. I don't know the way. You know. On the camera? No, on the ripper thing. Oh. <laughs> Shoot. I went to my hobby shop today and took a look at the drag five super awesome. Are drag racing competitions starting to get more popular than scale or rock calling competition? Um, I don't know that they're becoming more popular. Competitions like that, for, for one, like the competition side is not necessarily what the scale okay. side is about. That's what it is. It looks like we're doing getting ready to do the weather. Thank you. Um, there's a, anyone happen to know if Axial Fest is having the ultra 5k race this year? Ooh, I don't know that. I haven't seen, <laughs> uh, honestly, that's not part of the, uh, the itinerary I look for. No, nope. <laughs> don't really care about that. <laughs> like, Ooh, running for fun. Yeah. Mm, I'm going to pass. Yeah. Time out for you. Time out for you. A time out for you. Time outs for everyone. See, somebody need a nap. Would rift axles be good for a mega truck build? What can you? Sure, do? absolutely. If it will. If the camera will work yeah. properly. Nope. See, it's frozen. I don't know what's up with that. Fine. I did switch broadcasters earlier and because one was acting funny and that may be a continuation of what's going on. So I don't know, but this is a Band-Aid that is currently working. You're, you should be out of the club because yours is a concept serial number kind of true okay i'll see good thing i have oh my god everyone's been... ups upset that i'm on the wrong side would you like me to fix it i don't even i looks like i'm on the right side to me it does doesn't it um there but now i'm not on the right side now you're on the right side. To people, that's how you look. I don't like this. <laughs> All right. One R60 axle. Okay, got it. Josh, you like ICP being from KC. Did you or do you listen to Tech Nine? Um, so Tech, I did not grow up. I, in... Tech Nine used to come through my high school, and and like they had this big van, they would give out CDs before it. Was... She grew up in Kansas City. Yeah, I I moved to Kansas City after college, so um, she is a Tech Nine. I'm, well, you're not really a Tech Nine fan. No, you just a, you just you have hometown pride of almost anything, right? So like, you're like Tech Nine, that's awesome because he's, he's from all, Kansas City. He knew all of like the popular Tech Nine songs. Yeah, like 
that like I would have as well, just because yeah. it was popular. I didn't really know Tech Nine all that much beyond that, but um, um, Sacramento twenty fourth scale comp and disc golf putting league every Monday night in Orangevale. No kidding. I want so Brad Perry's playing a lot of disc golf again as well, obviously. obviously. <laughs> <laughs> and uh the the one guy who I know in here, Chris Cole, um, he is also a big disc golfer. And I was like, man, I kinda wanna try that again. I had fun doing it. Yeah, it's fun. I mean, I was doing it with somebody else who obviously was not good either, which was helpful. Um Were you doing it didn't you go with us one time? No, I went with Cody. Oh, I thought you went with dad. No. Oh, that's with us. Nope. Oh, thank you, BT. You gave us 20 bucks for the Tech Nine look B on Nicole's face. Thank you, BT. The Tech Nine look on. Yes. Um, Josh is from Omaha. Yeah. Well, I'm, he's actually from a. I'm from a. One it, first town. No, yeah. Excited. I'm from a very tiny town known for being the home of the world's smallest nuclear power plant. Um, you are out of timeout. <laughs> Yes, we had, that was the only, the only reason anybody has ever, would ever hear about our hometown is if they were researching nuclear power plants. But there's probably a few, uh, few what? People who research nuclear power plants on here. <laughs> I mean, you never know. You probably research nuclear power plants. I have. Right, thank you. <laughs> Mainly because I was doing a traffic study by one in the middle of okay. Kansas once. Pablo, gracias. And I was like, this is a really tiny nuclear plant. And then I found out. I see you've stolen my idea. This Matt, I don't know. That idea. This is not necessary. Matt used a similar approach, not going to lie. But I make no apologies. Nicole doesn't like, but it's also a band-aid because for some reason now my main camera is not working. Turn it off. <laughs> Turn the camera off. Credit where credit is due. I I think that it's uh I don't know that that's totally true. BT has also loves breeder reactors. Really? I thought that that was a typo, but apparently it's not. So that's why I said it. Because <laughs> I was like, maybe it's a typo. Maybe it's not. <laughs> <laughs> Mark Barton, thank you. Yes, it is for Calhoun. Okay. See, I freaking told you. What? That, that, that there were multiple people on here who actually <laughs> searched. I'm guessing that they just quick Googled like, Where's the smallest nuclear power plant? I'm like, yeah, hey, look at that. Yeah, Matt Conley, I'm with you. That, but that wasn't actually a documentary. The mini series on Chernobyl was really good. Oh yeah. Um, but which he obviously knew that I wasn't correcting you. Just Ron G gave us two dollars. Thank you. Hand like puppet sir. fight yourself. <laughs> that's that's diff. I don't know how you because it'd be. Pu Where's the makes more fuel than it consumes. Okay. I'm <laughs> I'm going to <laughs> Smallest in North America, bitch. I'll take that. Um what does a fully loaded VS410 <laughs> Ultra roughly weigh without battery or with battery? Mamba X. No battery. Uh, trying to figure and out. And aluminum phones. wheels. With aluminum wheels, not the stock wheels, but with aluminum wheels uh, under seven pounds. Six pounds, uh, eight ounces, or 14 ounces, roughly. Um, Russell Stevenson says a company I work for has done projects at Fort Calhoun. I've never <laughs> worked there, but have worked at four other new. Well, you're not missing out on anything. I, I remember when I took Nicole to Fort Calhoun for the very first time, and I like drove her through town, and she was just like, "Where is it?" What? I was like, "That was it." She's like, "They have a fun little like pretend fort." 
It's a real fort. It's a historic location. Oh, I thought it was like something that ki- like you went to as like a kid in school and like pretended you were. No, it was the first fort west of the Mississippi. Uh-huh. Maybe west of the Missouri. North it... of the Mason Dixon. I don't know. Um. Anyway, just in just inconsistent gave us two dollars. Thank you. Thanks, sir. I just chuckle anytime See, I hear yeah. his name. Um, Dale C is that? Yep, he definitely um, has looked at power plants. Uh. <laughs> nope, that's a real fort. Yeah, I get. I thought it was like. I mean, it's reconstructed, right, obviously. It's like, and then they have like thing like reenactments there. Like if you were a Civil War buff, you would probably care more. Um, he said, thank you very much. Disregard my Instagram message. Forgot you were live this evening. Oh. My bad. <laughs> Holding head down in shame. <laughs> Don't worry. I wouldn't have seen it for several hours anyway and then got back to you. And... It's okay. I will still respond just so that. Do you it... have a helium birthday balloon or not? No. Andrew Reigns gave us ten dollars. Thank you, Thanks, sir. Needed this entertainment after this week at work. Aww. Oh man, I, it was one of those weeks. A breeder reactor generates more fizzle material than it consumes. Breeder reactors achieve this because their neutron economy is high enough to create more fizzle fuel than they use. You see, the reason that BT donates so often is because he knows things like this. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I'm I'm more concerned than I was before, but no. <laughs> What's the next closest town to Fort Calhoun besides Omaha? Blair, Nebraska. Blair. Blair, Blair Nebraska. When's Vanquish going to start making rift parts? Uh, Monday. <laughs> Uh, I mean, we've already prototyped some. We're working on more. I'm starting to run production of another one on Monday. This is the right one, right? Yes, that's correct. He said, ouch. Ouch. Um, Just saying it. Dale Steve, says, I'm BT sure, so smart. That's I'm why. I'm sure a few of us here are nerds. Just like, gosh, I mean, I've actually sent Josh links to NTSB reports. Three hours of pure. Yeah, it was about, the, floor, about, it was about it. the Florida pedestrian bridge collapse. Oh, that was so gnarly. It was a pretty interesting. It was three hours long, though. Oh, I I remember watching that on TV when it happened. That was, yeah. That's so. It was. Can I put the right one on? Hi guys. Oh no, two minions at the bottom right. Love new tech, but I really appreciate to see you both at full size and not at tenth scale. Um, I would like to, but the problem is, is that our regular camera is frozen, and otherwise I would go back to that. <laughs> Matt Conley says, "I thought it sounded familiar. I deliver to B- Blair occasionally." There you go. So someone gets to be a rift parts tester. Um. Well, kind of all of us are RC people, so luckily there's that. What? What? Alex said, all I know about nuclear plants is that I couldn't get a dental x-ray for two years after working in that 30 days at one. Hmm. Gunner gave us $5. Can't wait to like get the Gunner? Prairie Wolf band body in on that thing. Did Nicole oh. get some of that fire jerky? No. <laughs> Nicole thinks black pepper is spicy. So I haven't even brought it in the house. <laughs> <laughs> I would be I would be afraid to have it open in the same room as Nicole just for the possible tears that could follow. This is so bizarre, Josh. I just can't. Why? I don't know. It's just weird. Will it would it help if I gave you a hug? How would I do it? You're literally right next to me. The amount of unamusement on your face makes it for me. <laughs> because you're right next to me. If you want to give me a hug, you could just give me a hug. <laughs> that was stupid. Thanks. Now I want a hug. <laughs> oh, Josh. What? I smudged your glasses. Uh, I'll be back. I can't stand. 
see anything. Her least, her most hated thing in the world. That. I guess I'll get another beer too. There you go. <laughs> oh, Pepe. Oh God. I like the I like the new camera. I kind of do too. I mean, it's just a simple setup, but yeah. Uh, no, I've done some nuclear rabbit rabbit hole on the wiki. Also, critic critically accents and interesting. Yes, there's some interesting stuff. Scott O'Blander, thank you, sir. Uh, great shirt, Nicole. What is what is what shirt are you wearing? Um, been a deadhead. Oh, there we go. Since '82, question for Josh: What are the custom link lengths on the brazen flat rail? The upper panhard and drag links. Oh, it's pronounced snow homish. Uh, um, let's see the custom links. Scott, I can get you those if you send me an Instagram message. Um, Cause I don't remember what they are. And I think I used some titanium ones that I had around. So I would have to just take a quick, quick measurement. I've got to do some work on that truck anyway, because I've got to get it ready to go. to. Red Rocks. So, so yeah. Um, so yeah, shoot me a message and I'll get you an answer. A sat. Chief. If I was ever trying to be just kind of an, kind of an ass, I would take and like lick my finger and then smudge your glasses. You can just walk out and not come back. I, well, not during this. I'm just saying I have in the past. Oh, yeah, it's super annoying. <laughs> Come here. Let's do this. It cuts him out. It doesn't understand that he's not background. I guess you can see my hands. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. There you go. Go, oh, Pepe. Damn, Guinness isn't supposed to do that. Told you the coffee makes it angry. No, it's because it's nitrogenated. The cat is going to be huge. Yep, he is getting enormous. But he's so sweet. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. Josh, do you use a tire mounting squeeze tool for bead locks? Uh, I don't. I never. I never really have have found the need to to make one can you turn down the hue or something parts on the desk are washing out oh uh, they kind of are let's see i can what's a wider alternative axle to an ar-44 that still uses ar-44 gears um other than custom there really isn't i'll you... see rc girl um, Other than some, some like kind of cheapy ones. Hi, Nicole and Josh. I'm not too late. You are not. Nope. BT says wheels, question mark. I know. BT, you should have, we have been doing some scouring lately <laughs> because I have been trying to find you a set of V1 machetes. It is not. I ask him like every day. And I know. He's like, I cannot find them. I've been, the, I, there has to be a set that exists is the thing. To think my hometown is famous for a guy getting an OMVI on a powered bar stool. Operating a motor vehicle on a powered bar stool. Hmm. Yeah, that sounds like the lake. I mean, that sounds not unfamiliar to my hometown. Yeah. Like, the powered bar stool would probably be the difference. He would probably just be on a regular bar stool and trying to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My home, there was 39 kids in my graduating high school class. Well, I think there was 42, but 39 graduated. Not great odds, honestly. How many became cops and or teachers? Ooh, teachers a lot. <laughs> so many. I, I swear it was just like the grade, my grade and the one like below my grade all of the teachers that we had were just the super old teachers. And I think they all must have just decided to retire about the same time. And just everybody from my hometown was just like, I guess I'm going to be the kindergarten teacher. Do you want to take first grade? Like, sure. 
That was my jury duty. It was rough. Ooh, yeah, that was a that was a spicy one for you. You did not it did, did not enjoy. Did not enjoy that. It was really sad. Son of a Um any issues using M3 hardware to build my dancing rider? Nope. You can use uh I I've built them with regular M3 hardware. It's much much appreciate or much uh better than using the JIS junk. My hometown makes shoes, Alex. Uh, would that be Red Wing? Red Wing, Michigan. Is that Jesse? No, um, he's hey, in Minnesota. What head? Alex. Oh, that's right. Right. Yes, I think Wing? that is that is correct. I don't know if that's your hometown. But Pretty sure he said it was. I just know that's where they. I don't know why. I know that. I didn't know. I thought. Why did I think Red Wing was? Michigan. No. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. Screw liquor. Eater. Eater. Wanting to put a stereo in my SDX 10.3. Ah. Oh, yeah. Minnesota. Red Wing, Minnesota. What'd you say? Michigan. I said Minnesota. Yeah, you were right. Are you going to Axial Fest Badlands? Uh, at this time, that is not in my plans. I would like it to be, but. And just don't think that's going to happen. At Josh, JIS junk. Oh, you mean the stuff you refuse to replace? I replace. I don't use it at all. That's, I have tons. Hardly touch it. Thank you, Aussie girl. You. You think this is a game, kitten? Yeah. Obviously. Thank you, Swoop13. What? They're giving you... Happy birthday. Happy birthdays. <laughs> Gunner, I apologize if there's some very fine teeth marked. I don't know why he doesn't have more fear of power tools. So literally, I have a magnet to increase fruit. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Any recommendation on a good YouTube bend on a good sorry tube bender for three eighths tube for RC? Ooh, three eighths. Uh, you mean you sure you don't mean three sixteenths? Have you ever put a stereo in a crawler? I have not. Um, Just a fucking computer. Put a put yeah. Put a pooter in one. <laughs> 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 um. No, I've never, I mean, honestly, if I was going to do it, I think I would just find some sort of uh 316, yes. Okay, good. Oh, oh, really? He's got something in his mouth. What's he carrying? I don't know. Whatever that is. Oh, that's a Wi-Fi antenna for my. Good try, little one. Good try. I'd have been looking for that. I'm like, where did that? That was a good try, but you didn't get away with it. What a little shit. He is the best fetch player, though. Oh, my gosh. That's all he wants to do, though. He, bring, he grabs his mouse. He brings it up to you, drops it right in front of you. He's like, no, I want that antenna. Yeah. <laughs> See you in 300, Javier. <laughs> The cat's giving the axles character. I'm okay with this. It's coming. <laughs> Where is the mouse? Oh shit! Traffic still in the bedroom. How long have we been in here? Uh, forty eight minutes. She's fine. Right. Uh, doing Bluetooth receiver and speakers with amp. Yeah, I think that's. Speaking of, tomorrow is the install day in my Jeep. I am pumped. I get the new, putting the new stereo in the Jeep. Yes. Is that a butter knife grease spreader? No, it's a box cutter. Razor knife. Because my X-Acto blade is in the garage because I was cutting carbon fiber till one in the morning last night. Yeah. 
making sandwiches in the middle of the night? I didn't make a sandwich. It sure looked like you did. I don't think that... I don't understand. I think the only thing I had last night was I had banana chips. Or over there. Over here? Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, but I had them out there last night. Oh. I had them in here today while I was waiting for you. TV. So. What's a good motor and ESC for this mud truck? Um, Castle... I mean, honestly, that Castle Copperhead would be a great choice. Um, that Castle Copperhead. And then if you're just doing a mud truck, you didn't really need sensor. Just do a Castle, like 1410 even, just get, if it would fit. I don't know if it would fit for sure. Or like a Holmes Polar, uh, Holmes Polar Pro would be a solid. Actually, I think that's what Gunner's is. Paul W. Yep. gave us $20. Polar Thank Pro. you. It said go. Go. <laughs> There's a page, a Facebook page that makes one tent speeders for ROC. Check out under M O B. Yeah. Uh, mob. Yeah. Something. Pilots, he's he's local here. Oh, pilots and Flint attendants after ten years can not donate their organs because of the radiation in the atmosphere. Flight attendants. Interesting. Those plastic orange peelers are the bomb for grease work. The spadish end they have. Don't use the wipes though. Yeah, you know the ones that you, the pot, the orange peeler thing that has that. I don't really peel oranges. Don't tell people that. <laughs> don't tell people that, Josh. <laughs> You're. <sighs> I don't like to peel oranges. Beauties are fine. Genetically modified to be e to be perfect for lazy people. Or you just have your wife peel it for you and. <laughs> Wrap it in a wet paper towel for your lunch bag. <laughs> I didn't used to take orange. I would bring the oranges back if she put them in my lunch. So I was like, I didn't want to peel it. So she started to peel them. I, just... I mean, you had the time at the time. <laughs> I don't know. I swear to God, they're like coming up with their own calls. Since Nicole won't wear the shirt I got him. Oh, it's Nicole. Since Josh won't wear the shirt I got him, if I sent it to you, would you? Oh. Huh. Yeah. Wear it now. Or you can just send me. I'll just wear his thick boy shirt. People will be so confused. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to Axial Fest in Donner? Yes, we will be at Axial Fest Donner. I'll just be hanging out. I don't think we're going to have a booth, but I'll likely be there all of the days. Do you have friction in the DeWalt power tool? Does it work at minimum setup? My Ryobi it ha is hard even at minimum. Hard even at minimum. I'm Sorry, I don't 100% understand what you're saying. Uh, this Ryobi is kind of just a, a fantastic all around. The clutch will go as light as you want. It works super, you know, it's super variable. It starts up at almost no speed. You can see how slow it'll go. You know, or it'll go as fast as you want. So I don't know exactly what your question is, but I love this driver. I used to run the Ryobi Vortex. And, uh, these are what I switched to. Yeah. <laughs> right. Um, are you from Idaho Falls? No. No. What is the grease you are using? That's just Vanquish grease. I'm... Still a little disappointed that you refused to wear that shirt on my build night, just saying. <laughs> what motor ESC would you put an Axle Wraith 1.9 budget minded? Uh budget minded? Like uh I would do a hobby you wing. Said, you said that was a Ryobi, it's a DeWalt. I used to run the Ryobis. If I was going budget minded, I'd go a Hobby Wing 1080 ESC and a Holmes uh Crawlmaster Sport like 13 turn which is about like a 27 turn standard motor. Um, but that would be like 
55 bucks and would be a solid setup. I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. I can't get a good can't get a good throw. It looked like you were trying to turn the page up here on the instructions. What feel should I use on my new VS410? <laughs> you know, I'm starting to really like the clear flex seal a little more. <laughs> yeah. Or the paste. Just fill the bed with the paste. Freaking flex seal. You know how many flex seal things I get tagged on in Facebook now? I mean, you just... Hi. No, we want you to throw it. Oh, you suck at throwing! I mean, that was a little... It was a little aggressive on your yelling, but... Oh, I forget people get... Triggered? What? Triggered by that. <laughs> <laughs> Triggered. Any tips for what color to use after Duratrax candy yellow paint? White backer or black backer? You are asking the wrong Picasso. Or who would I? I'd be more of a. Who was the splatter painting? A guy. Pollock. There you go. Fun fact, I like art. Fun fact. <laughs> <laughs> um, Francesco gave us 549. Thanks, as always. Have to go 4 a.m. here. Happy late birthday, Nicole. Well, I will finish tomorrow. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Um, Josh, with summer hitting, you ever think about trying fast electric race boats at Folsom? That new Pro Boat Impulse 32 that just dropped yesterday looks like it would absolutely rip. Yeah. I've seen the boats and all that, and I just have never, never been one to like really want to get into the boat side. And there's no Folsom Lake to. Yeah, we'd, we'd be better off with sand drags at Folsom Lake. We got no water. I heard they closed it to boats. Really? Yeah. Like they're so, yeah. I got me one of those heart tool backpacks from Walmart on clearance and made me a great little toolkit to carry everywhere. Heart tool. Thanks. I don't know. I don't know that I've ever seen that. Oh, he dropped it by you. Thank you, buddy. Can't really hit any sweet jumps with RC boats. <laughs> it actually just says jumps. I just you put you put the sweet part in. How about a ten P or forty six hundred KV for a VS four ten Pro? Mm, I would highly recommend against a forty six hundred KV. I think you'd be much better off with a twenty seven hundred KV and four S. If you're trying to get, if you're trying to get, you know, aggressive with it, you'd have much better control. Next mayhem, jump a boat over the house. <laughs> That's not a bad idea. Did my rip navy, blue cage and candy red panels. Love it. Also, my wife told me to do those colors. <laughs> I don't think I've let Nicole choose colors of cars very often. Uh, yeah. She doesn't have great taste in cars. Right. And can you imagine if you asked me that, what I would tell you to do? Like, I literally do not give a... <laughs> right. <laughs> Are you excited for my subwoofer installation tomorrow? All the bass. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you don't even know what to say you're so excited because you it's wasted on you me why because because i listen to podcasts yeah <laughs> I, I will download all the icp albums icp what 
Why would you want ICP? I had talked about the other night. I used to be an ICP fan when I was younger. You weren't like, don't say I wasn't like a juggalo. Right. But I liked the albums. I thought they were fun. I listened to them. Everybody did back in the day. Yeah, I Like the, agree. that dating game one or whatever. Oh, that was the best. Yeah, like... But, like, don't say that you're a fan. Of, like, people are going to think you're, like, I was not in a, your face. No. Like, workaholics. I, I mean, if I was hanging out with the workaholics people, I'd probably do it. But, <laughs> like, don't be don't be lame. <laughs> <laughs> your Celine Dion will sound great. <laughs> Josh is going to be blasting Barbra Streisand. He doesn't even have that good of taste to like Celine Dion or Bar- Barbra Streisand. Whatever. I mean, those are... Neither of those are, are good, but still. Right, but they're like... What, classic? Right. Yes, I am not... Oh, Travis says, so he's getting a system in his new truck. With quotes, I hope you guys your, had your tire fixed by now, Nicole. It's been fixed several times, even once this week. When he says fixed, he means functional. Putting air in it. It's a very slow leak. It's like it gets to 32 psi. Josh, were you in Glee Club? You know. No. Did you guys even have a Glee Club? No. Thoughts on Element AFS? Uh, not a fan. Did I get my big? I haven't. you no, but it shipped. I'm excited. Me too. I've tried to show her photos of it oh, you because we're it. Nicole and I are both the worst at giving gifts. Like we're just like, I got you something. Like what? Like can I show you what it is? Like, it's for your birthday. I know it's in two months, but I got it for you now. And I'd like to just, I'll, I'll just give it to you now. And then it, it's, but it's for your birthday. Josh Blue Man Group. Josh, Josh Blue, the comedian? Josh doesn't like things that aren't live acts. I don't know what we were having a conversation about the other day, but I texted you and I said, Josh, I swear to God, if it doesn't have axles or we, if it doesn't have wheels and tires or boobs you are not interested in it at all i can't remember what it was but i was i didn't disagree with you but i right. was like yeah i have no idea what you're god what was it i don't know you were heated about it you had a strong opinion about something and i was just like i got no idea what you're talking about yeah so what you're saying is your jeep needs a set of methods and 33s no No, hers needs a set of 18s and 32 and a halfs, like that come on an Overland Gladiator. Well, that one, she's right. She's right. (laughs) (laughs) I'm not trying to argue. I still have no idea what... I wasn't arguing with you. I was just making a point. Yeah, I was like, I honestly have no idea what you're talking about. Yeah, I mean... He is interested in nuclear reactors, but not on the level of paying attention to them. Like, Yeah, agreed. I mean, it was just, it was one of those things. That was a while ago. It wasn't that long ago. I would tell you to search boobs. I was going to say, I could just search boobs, but, but it might not be the last one that pops no. up. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. I mean. <laughs> oh, have fun. Big red bitch said good night, everybody. Out camping, had to pop in. Go oh, ahead. Nice. Maybe Nicole's Jeep needs dual stage film. <laughs> you know, that's. Yep, not... everybody can see your messages. <laughs> <laughs> RC's boobs in traffic. It still hit it. <laughs> I mean. I'm sure it was, it had to be something that was, uh, like news related because there's definitely no other thing that I, <laughs> I don't remember. So, yeah. Yeah. Travis, exactly. What? 
I see what you did there. She gets a hand-me-down so you can make yours and wall crawl at her. <laughs> well, you know. It, it'll be fine. Hmm. I don't remember how long ago it was, really. Well, not long ago. I didn't think so either. Maybe I'll search boobs. <laughs> don't look. Yeah, I mean, I don't even want to see. <laughs> Oh, there it is. Um, oh, it was the photo of Emmett. Oh my God, you're so stupid. <laughs> I sent it to the mod group as well. You're so stupid. <laughs> there was like a, like you can, a. You can show it, I mean. There's a panel of photos, you know, like you can see here, you know, of our nephew Emmett. And in this photo, I was like, I said, or this one specifically, I said, is he holding a stuffed almond? Like, I was just like, that's so weird. I mean, it's a small photo. It's not great resolution. And she didn't, she's like, I don't, is it the migraine or should I know what you're talking about? I said, stuffed almond, left page, last two photos. Oh, wait, I think it's a football. And then she was responding at the same time. I think that's a football. I said it was hard to tell. And then we went into a whole thing. I, I was surprised even for me. It. Yeah, it's fine now. I was surprised even for me that a stuffed almond was a thought before a sports item. But, <laughs> and then she. And then it was a whole conversation about almonds. and <laughs> Yeah, almonds are popular right now. I don't know if you knew this. <laughs> you know. So, yeah. We do. You guys look like a picture in Back to the Future where the brother and sister start to disappear. <laughs> yeah. Um, DLC would like to get you in trouble and say, have the outboard motors come in yet? Can we see them? They have not come in yet. They're supposed to be here anytime between the 1st of June and like the 28th. So. Ivo Braga wants just saying hi, guys. Hi. Hello. Go downtown to the Blue Diamond plant and get all the different flavors of almonds you want. I know we still have to done that. Well, you can't have almonds. I can't. I'm allergic to almonds. So, so. it's like... But it would still be fun to go. Right. So you could sit there and watch me eat a bunch of almonds? I mean, I'll do it. I don't care. I, I love almonds. I know, but I don't care. I like doing stuff like that. Is, there, is that in sack? Blue Diamond plant? Um... I thought it was on the way. But I, thought I thought it was like it was in, in Chico or something. I thought like it that. was in between San Francisco and Sac, but I honestly don't know. That's the Jelly Belly plant. Hmm. It is in Sac. What is the motor and ESC going to going in this SMT10 truck build? Castle Mamba X and a Holmes Polar Pro 3500. Oh, everyone says it's downtown. I guess I've probably seen the building. You know, I Drop sent... Drop the L. The growers call them um, Amons. Amons. Well, there's an L in it. And... Is it not supposed to be almonds? I, it, yeah, that's how it's... My actually owns an almond farm out here. Yeah. Where's that little town? Um, what the... What was that called? The cutest little town. Yeah. I cannot remember what it's called, though. I know. Damn it. I mean, it doesn't obviously matter, but. Hmm. So. Well, Enrique, this is late, but here. It's always the best news. Oh, and Chico and surrounding is Alma Amons. I don't understand that, why you wouldn't say it, just how it's spelled. Yeah, there's an L in it, so. There must be something we don't know. Um, I haven't seen Perry G pop up. He sent us three very nice bottles of wine. Yeah, why don't you go open one of them up for the show? Gone. <laughs> he sent them like two weeks ago. I don't think it was two weeks ago. Oh, well, <laughs> like, either way. It was Monday. Like, <laughs> No, today's Friday. It wasn't this week. It was last week. Was it last week? Yeah. Okay, off topic, but let's see how good you can make the Lloyd body look on the drag slash. Uh, not a chance. And also, 
that is not the correct size of a body for a drag car. It would not fit. Oh, I guess I got to assemble all the links first. Oh, uh, thank you. Almonds. 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 That sounds fancier. Stop eating almonds when you said to start activating them. I didn't even activate my windows. What? Well, <laughs> Does, I mean, I know what not activating windows means. Oh, I don't know what that means either. Well, like you see this little... No, nope, don't want to talk about it. <laughs> the entire value is about almond, rice, and fruit growing, but the main plant for blue diamonds and sack. They sell the flavored stuff cheap there. <laughs> Home, Mamba X Holmes Polar Pro 3500 KB. What gear and tire setup? Are you locking or over under driving? Uh, no over under in the diffs at this point, no locking them yet at this point. I'm sure that that is a possibility right now. These are, these axles are being built stock. Um, and as far as like the end plan, it's got J concepts, dragon tire wheels and fling king tires. The go-to mud truck setup. This is taking forever. It's not. This coffee is not. It's not doing it for you yet? It's not. I think it's counteracted by the Guinness. That's always a possibility. <laughs> <laughs> so. He's right. Millennial Farmer on YouTube had an almond farmer on his podcast and he called them almonds. I'm just saying. And Jesse Schultz is here. Almond milk. I've never seen a nipple on an almond. <laughs> <laughs> there, that's a Jesse comment. Yeah. I mean, we approve. That's why we keep them around. Watching this while putting some new shocks on my SX and three. What's the next upgrade? I already did the ECS because I fired the stock one. Um, I would do a servo for sure. A nice like four hundred plus ounce inch servo. Hard to beat a good steering servo. Do something other than Savox. Make the truck a dually. No. I never got that. Never got the trend of that. I know. I... Are you knitting anything? I'm not. <laughs> Hands have been hurting. I'm not. I haven't been knitting anything. I got a good book that I've been reading. So good book. And she got a nice book lamp. I did. That was for the other book that I finished. But oh, you can't use it from. You have to get a new one for each book. No, I'm just saying that that was why I got like. They stay with the books. Shut up. Got a jammed dad taxi for my daughter and her friends prom night. Oh, fun! What? Love it. <laughs> Mike J said, "Rough boy is talking about pronouncing things correctly." <laughs> <laughs> what? Which drag car roller would you buy just to have fun with friends? Ooh. I, I mean, I don't have a great... I haven't owned the Losi, so I don't know. Um, the DR10's got a ton of aftermarket support, and the Slash doesn't offer a roller. So you're kind of either between the DR10 and the Losi. I don't have enough experience with the Losi, so I would say DR10 at this point. My mm. wife and I are in Savannah for a few days on the river. Savannah, Georgia. Oh, beautiful. That's like one of the best tourist towns like to visit. Really? Yep. Any suggestions on how to stop the passenger drive shaft from hitting spur cover on a low C drag car? Never owned one. Thank you for the birthday wishes. Hey, you hate mega trucks. What gives? Are you building this for someone else? Yes. I am building this for someone else, but I've also built like four or five mega trucks. So I don't hate mega trucks. I just don't like mud. <laughs> it's a weird, I know it's a weird contradiction. This one is called zero fail. It's about the secret service. Oh, the book. Yeah. I was like, are you talking about, I was like, we didn't name this car. You could name it zero fail. That'd be fine. You could. Here you go, Gunner. Called zero fail. Ping and pong are behind us right now. Yeah. Gunner, I'm putting, metal pivot balls in like half of these links for now when you replace them i'm sure at some point you can take them out and keep them but 
I'm not digging for that other plastic parts tree. You're so lazy. I'm trying to get this. I'm trying to be efficient here. We are going you would to appreciate Axial it. Fest here. Um, Axial Fest West Coast. What gearing did you go with on the Techno MT four one two zero? Do not recall. Um, I don't have a I don't have a response for you on that. Shari. I'm wondering, Josh, coming to South Dakota. I just talked to my best friend who lives there the other day, and hopefully soon. I want to build me a truck. I want Josh to build me a truck live, but the caveat is no orange paint. Don't worry about that. Well, for one, I don't paint anything. <laughs> you can get about three hours of work time out of me, and then you get it back in whatever state it was. What body is going on this? Gunner, what body is going on this? Um, I do not want to paint a truck. Oh. My hobby shop called me today. My TRX4 Bronco is ready for pick up yeah. tomorrow morning. Just oh. happens to be my birthday. Psh, All right. Can plan that one better. Like, yeah. I got to go pick it up. Happy birthday. Or is it one of those things where you don't get to choose what you do on your birthday? That's a thing. What do you mean? You know, like when some people are like, it's your birthday. We have all these plans. Like, I don't I don't want to do anything. I just want to do what I want to do. Are they by the yoga block to your left? No, that is, that was, I took all the rest of them off that. I have not painted any bodies before because this is not my deal. No. None of this is my deal. I have my own. You, you mean none of this? None of these things? No, look. Oh, the grease? No, none of this in this room. I'm not acknowledging. Ignal this. Ignal no. Embrace your Vanna. No. Um, so She's a I, knitter. I she is a knitter. She has her own line of yarn. Of yarn, I know. It's nice stuff. It's not, but okay. <laughs> um, but no, I have this is not I have my own life. Uh oh. Of extracurriculars. Yeah. That she chooses. I have lots of TV shows to watch. <laughs> Her friends. Her friends are on. Yeah. I have cats. I have just. I don't even really enjoy being part of the group, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Um, I'd rather not be, for being honest. And no, I do not have an RC. As soon as I can get my hands on a Charisma Prairie Wolf fan body, that's what's going on here. Nice. Lloyd Jones has an SMT with three bodies. Boghog, Kingsling, and the Creeper. Kingsling. That's fair. We suck. I mean, no, it's not just you. I'm just saying in general. No, Nicole just doesn't like to be part of a group. Not this group or the group, just even a group. It's like, nah. I'm... I mean, like my friend group. Uh, what? When was the last time you had multiple of them in one place? They, because they live all over the country. I can't yeah. help it. So it's never really a group. You like me? My, my family group. There's that. And that is enormous. Like I just. But you didn't even get to pick them. So. But I'll pick them. All of them? <laughs> no. <laughs> like, I mean. No. <laughs> There's some of you, you walk away from like, I don't know, never seen him. Don't know that or, or, I person. I've seen one of cops before, but that's it. Yeah. Like. <laughs> um, yeah, organized <laughs> things are just not my jam. No. Or like anything with a, a schedule. Or like rule, a, yeah. Like an appointment time. Like, nah. Mm -mm. Like, I don't think so. I like to do my own thing. I tried calling Nicole. So my coworkers were like, you need to take Nicole out to dinner for her birthday on Wednesday. And I, and I was just like, she doesn't want to go out to dinner. They're like she might not say it, but she wants to go out for dinner. I'm like, no, she doesn't like, so I called her on speakerphone without her knowing. And I was like, Hey, do you want to go out to dinner tonight? And she goes, no. And then she said, you have your live video. I was like, God, that's not. So then they thought it was because of that, that she didn't want to go. I'm like, no, she really doesn't want to go out. It has nothing to do with that. I don't want to get dressed. That was my day off. 
I want to get dressed, put makeup on, do all that. Not on my birthday. Just leave me the F alone. <laughs> um, I don't want to be along to any club that would accept me as one of its members. <laughs> Thank you. That's a, that. That's the the best way to put it for you. Yeah. <laughs> like, nope. You make you make bad decisions. Yeah. Chips is here. Hello. What's up, Chips? How did you do that? Oh. Of course I did. Well, did you? I don't know. Yes. Hi, well. Josh. Hello, Nicole from Globe, Arizona. We love when you two do videos together. Thank you. Um, Thank you. Where why would you go out for your birthday? They deliver pizzas now. Yeah. Like, oh, that's Nicole's. And I don't want to wear a mask. Like I, just, I mean, like I don't mind wearing a mask, but like I just don't want to. Don't want to do anything. I don't want to put anything over my face. Like I just, I want to watch Naked and Afraid and have. I'm good. And yes, they do deliver everything now. <laughs> We do, we do love Naked and Afraid. Oh, yeah. I mean, I never want to do it. No. We <laughs> like the idea of watching people like, ooh, those bug bites suck. Or the guy who got his butt got infected from all the ticks that were in his ass crack. Yeah. Uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. What's going on with the new setup is our other one. Or... Yeah, our main camera is frozen. See, it doesn't move. We're still talking and moving. And now we've got this going on because it's in the middle of the show and I can't troubleshoot it otherwise. Otherwise, it would be, I mean, assuming you think this is actually entertaining, it would be much less entertaining to watch me troubleshoot technology. Friend of mine was on Naked and Afraid. My what? You know who he is. Tell us. Yeah, like let's we went. Give us the name, we'll tell you where he was. <laughs> Gray Matter Fab gave us five dollars. Thank you. Have you seen his background his low rider truck? Oh, I have not. Pretty sick. He builds custom funny story about Gray Matter Fab. So you were serious about the name that shall not be named anymore, got it. Um funny story about Gray Matter Fab is uh oops, sorry, I'm trying to do something. Anyway. Um on my, I have a two Instagram ones, like ones like Harley Designs Inc. The RC stuff. And then I have a studio one that's just like camera shit and stupid other stuff. Anyway, I didn't know. One day I met Gately and my phone rings and it's a, this Louisiana phone number. And I'm like, hello? And he's like, hey, this is, I forget his name, but he's like, you know, great matter. I'm like, huh? And he's just like, I saw that you listed your phone number on your Instagram to like it had available to call because it like automatically links your stuff. It had been there for a year or more, like at least. And he was the first one to ever call. And I'm just like, oh, okay. And he had a question. It was a legitimate question. <laughs> and he like, you listed your phone number. Like, I'm calling it. Yeah. And I was like, but I was just, it like took me back for a second. I was just like, did I, re I like went on there? Sure enough, like call button and call my cell phone. It's gone now, but. Well, now he has your number. I would say, <laughs> if I were you, I would call him every day just to be like, what's up? <laughs> You're stupid. Shouldn't have put your shit out on Instagram. <laughs> I'd be texting. I'd be blowing his shit up. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> That's hilarious. I was just like, wait, what? No one wants to call anybody nowadays. Oh, I know. Gray, tell that to Gray Matter Fab. I love He's that. He's just like, I'm going to get my answer right now. Yeah, I'm it. calling this. That's awesome. <laughs> it was very funny. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> he says, I will not. <laughs> I'm just saying, I would FaceTime him. <laughs> uh, That's hilarious. Good for you. I like it. So much happens behind the scenes on that show, it'll blow your mind. I need to know all of it. I'd call him every day and ask what weight shock will do. <laughs> How much for the number? <laughs> I just remember, I was just, I don't even remember, like, I remember the phone conversation, but I was just shocked. Like, wait, what? I post my phone number? Call Josh now and see, <laughs> see his reaction. <laughs> 
<laughs> What's the best all time DIY kit? I'm looking for a challenge. The best all hmm. Looking for a challenge. <sighs> That's a interesting. I mean, I've had some really fun kits, but I don't know that it's been, been like what I would call them as a challenge. So that's a really good question. Huh. Um, man, I'm going to continue to think about that. Instead of, is your fridge running, you get asked shock all question. <laughs> <laughs> He said uh, he gave us five dollars. Thank you. <laughs> I was as shocked as you were when you answered. <laughs> like this dude doesn't really post his phone number, does he? Like I want to call. Hey, he should Facetime us during a live stream. We'll put him up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oops. Oops. There we go. Uh, yeah, that was. I'm listening in while I build a Gundam model. What is yeah. that? Um, they're like, uh, they're kind of like an action figure, but a model. They kind of look like Transformers, but they're like super high detailed. They're, when we go to Nursa in Vegas, yeah, the Gundam stuff is hugely popular. Hmm. It's great. I've never done it. I'm obviously a crap modeler, um, but it's hugely popular and they have super cool like tool sets specifically for it. Um, I don't know. I, it's actually, it's kind of, it's not something I'm obviously going to jump into because it doesn't have motor, a motor. Or maybe they have boobs. Maybe there's someone with boobs. Oh, perfect. Can we talk about your car's RC extended warranty? <laughs> I didn't, it, he didn't say RC. I... <laughs> What's your most memorable fun to do long DIY kit? Alex says, don't get me started on Gundam. Of course, Alex has a Gundam either issue or story <laughs> <laughs> um long term oh man honestly my most memorable one is a birdhouse that i was made, making when i was like five or seven that's ten. not the question i know um long term. for me they're the ones that aren't kits they're like you know fabricating something um and, I thought RC guys were nerds and I meant Gundam guys. <laughs> I mean, I can I can kind of understand that sentiment in some time. Like, being around some of the stuff at the show, like, I see it a little bit. Answer a kid's damn question. The best kit? It's such a hard question. Like, long-term and challenging? Man. Honestly, the uh, to me, a big rig stuff is oh, yeah. a bit of a challenge, kind of a you can get really crazy stuff, especially if you like start adding a trailer and if you get into the lights and how much stuff there goes into them, then all of the customization like I'm trying to think of what has. The most bearings in it. <laughs> so all of the like the grand hauler, night hauler, uh, they all have a ton or what's the one? Yeah, and they're kind of a longer build. They're a good, you know. I would I would try that out. Get, find now if that has to be something that you're like not super interested in hucking off a jump or, you know, rock crawling. So I don't know if that defeats your the purpose of what you're looking for. I guess that would be an important detail in it. Um. But I thoroughly enjoyed the Tamiya semi. It has had 36 spoons in it or something like that today. It was like a Rockbuster, TR, TLT, or TLT Rockbuster has 36 bearings. Yeah, something like that. It's because of, it's probably because of the transmission. Oh. It's yeah. crazy. It's not oh, a challenging it, kit. And I don't think it's made anymore. But, and I can't believe somebody's buying a bearing set for it. <sighs> but yeah, that's wild. Bags. Why would you buy a ceramic bearing for your open RC F1? Oh, wow. Did Why? somebody really do that? Somebody did a power car or power car 29th. Yeah. 
91. I'll be buying ceramic bearing kit for my open order CF1. That is, I mean, that's an aggressive move. Granted, I it's mean, my new, six bearings, my but... 3D printed, my new 3D printer probably do a pretty good job at that. I should print that out. Yeah. I think it's four, eight by 12 by three and a half and two 12, 18 fours. I mean, hmm. so many of those before we started having one. Having them packaged? Yeah. Wasn't the Rockbuster just a rebadged Hornet? No, the Rockbuster was uh, the first small scale solid axle from Tamiya. It was like a minute, it was a 118th scale monster truck is basically, but it's what started the fad of like 2.2 smaller scale um, part. It's kind of what led to most of the scale world, really. It was kind of a big deal. Like you? I mean, I was a big part of it. <laughs> <laughs> Big deal on the internet. What 3D printer do you have? I have a Prusa. The i3 Mark III. Not the Mini. We're to the shock step. Guess what we don't have to build? Shocks. I don't know. I can't believe no one else has an idea about what's the best. One is good challenge. One of the one thirty second military trucks, Orlando. No, N absolutely not. The worst. <sighs> Thing was brutal. Josh claims he invented post its. <laughs> 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 And the internet. I wouldn't change my mind because you, especially if you're buying them for me, because then I would have to make it. So, um, I can't believe that no one else has anything. Okay, something about a DJI. Four hundred twenty screws. Yeah, that's a quadcopter then. Um, I mean, honestly, I just have really good ideas. So people kind of agree with it and then they don't have a lot. Nothing? Nothing out of you on that? I wasn't listening. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but if you do get it, you can use our code. Yes, right. you can use date night. All one word. All one word. Get 10% off. Makes it cheaper. It does, especially for buying those ceramic bearings. Uh, Matt said the RC tank kits are crazy to build. Oh, that's a good. I think he wants to do an RC car. I mean, an RC tank. Is... Not an RC car. Not an RC car. And only weird people build tanks. Oh, my fine words. Let's see. Nothing I have is worthy of ceramics. I, they're just for go fast and stuff. They're not really we're too bag d what amazon wants to put a drone charging station in our town and all the old timers are up in a roll an uproar that's interesting on all accounts for one He's drone down charging. by the ozark like oh god they're probably dead. they probably don't even want to they're probably just doing it for to mess with people <laughs> like <laughs> let's get these guys all pissed off yeah because they're like Bill Gates is putting, putting this here. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> He's going to be flying over my house. Trying to look in my window. He cares what I'm doing. <laughs> he doesn't. He doesn't care. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody cares. Your actual neighbor doesn't care. No one cares. Um... Just stop by to smell ya. <laughs> well, I like your style. Does the Vanquish body detail set not come with hardware, Moose Jaw says. Oh, he's from Springfield to Poplar Bluff. 
Poplar Bluff. Got a funny story about some Poplar Bluff with Fat Jesus. Oh, God. <laughs> he got arrested on his way to Fat Poplar Bluff. Or, you no, know, he got arrested in Poplar Bluff. For what? Child support? No, uh, I think I think uh, moving violations. Oh. I can't remember how it worked out, but we got a phone call. <laughs> he need, he need... <laughs> I think he was trying to go meet a girl. No, we should not talk about that. Can we? <sighs> we shouldn't. No, I've... you already said his name. I know. Um, That's such a good story. Trolls can read your mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I want to tell that no. story so bad. No. No. Oh. no, put a pin in it. Oh, you're killing me. Put a pin in it. I've said too much. <laughs> what? What? You two are the best. A couple other YouTubers expect us to donate in order for them to reply. <laughs> no. We appreciate that you're all here. We appreciate we the appreciate donations. We appreciate it. But, Absolutely. but it would be quite boring if we only read those. Yeah, I would. We definitely appreciate all of it. But did Fat Jesus ever start doing CrossFit? No, no, no. Uh, no, he's not a CrossFit guy. <laughs> no. No. Hell of a mechanic. Uh huh. Just think of how many of these hicks are going to shoot at him. Yeah. <laughs> the little woman and I are going to build our ultras together, and all I have left are the trucks and the aluminum standoffs. Getting excited. I love my pro. Nice. Does rubbing alcohol have any bad effects on Lexan? Not that I'm aware of. I don't. I don't take his word for it. I mean. Do it on the wheel well where you're gonna cut out and see if it does it that's such a good idea of you test in any inconspicuous spot that's like what every it's like cleaner, for makeup no oh. every cleaner in the world oh. says that on it like test first <laughs> on an inconspicuous spot so that you it doesn't you know like last weekend when i dumped out an entire mug of coffee all over my yeah. keyboard mouse a desktop god damn yeah. I was mad. Rob Martin says Nicole responded to me once. <laughs> Twice. Squints powders. Oh my god, hey. Oh my god, hey. Feel special. All right. We're missing some 18. Toe Daddy says you'll be all right. Will, Van Will Vanquish make a better dig unit for the Capra? Mm, probably not. Get a different skid plate and throw in our proper dig unit. You could you make this but better? Could you make this but better? Capper transmission is garbage anyway, so I would suggest removing it as soon as possible. It is the worst. As... Oh, he wasn't actually asking you, he was asking the chat about the rubbing alcohol. But... Oh, <laughs> he knew better. Yeah. Like, hey, there's a bunch of people here who probably know better than this. <laughs> um, do you do CrossFit? You can cross F off. Name that TV show. I mean, I don't know. Sounds like some like rules of engagement or something. Granted, I think that that show was over by the time CrossFit became popular. Yeah, probably. Um, it sounds like Philadelphia. Or it's always sunny. Always sunny. I don't know. I never really watched that show until you like. I just started watch. I just like caught it and I was like, oh, this is super funny. I'm gonna watch the rest of it. Letter Kenny. Let, oh, I've never seen you that. Seen that. That's very Canadian, right? Yeah, we only watch American TV on this house. Yeah, like Canadians get enough exposure. <laughs> the Trailer Park Boys were like our favorite <laughs> for a minute. <laughs> Did Alex just says always sunny is much better than the office. I mean, that's funnier. It is not funnier. I mean, more funny. It, you're wrong. 
looking for fast any bearings for my Gen 1 Deadbolt suggestions. A Gen 1 Deadbolt kit. Yes, I'm pretty sure that that kit specifically is available. Yeah. Is there going to be a running video on your Ultimate Bomber? Yes. Yes, there will be. Likely when I go run it. It still has not been run. Ran. Runned. Um, what is your beef with the Axe FOC system? I don't like how it drives. It has low on power. It's weak in comparison to other good brushless systems. And the self-modulating power feels awful. I hope that's from a show. What? When people say you're a hell of a mechanic for a girl. <laughs> like, I hope that's from a show and people just don't say that. Because if they do, they should be punched in the throat. <laughs> throat punched. Has Josh begun building a scale highway system? Oh, God. Why did I even read that out loud? I have been looking at a bulldozer. One of those RC four wheel drive ones. You would like that. Where are you going to put a bulldozer? The big one that you can ride in. That's the dump truck. Oh, it's not that big. Okay, he was saying that a. <sighs> that would. Do... What do you think they build highways with? Bulldozers. Construction crews, and not anywhere that like this house is. A thousand square feet. Where, where in the f are you gonna put a, a, a high? You're an idiot. I could, I could fit a roundabout somewhere. <laughs> it's, it would be. It's eighty pounds. No. Wouldn't you like to drive a bulldozer? A real one. It's almost the same thing. It's eighty pounds. So stupid sometimes it drives me crazy. I think I think you would really enjoy it once you got the opportunity. I don't think I should steal that from you. We could make a nice little trip down to Vasalia. <laughs> Pick it up in person. I will call them and tell them. Um, that you're trespassed from there. <laughs> yeah, Nicole could bulldo bulldoze that shit on the floor into a pile. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, ask him a price. How much is an 80 pound bulldozer? You think you could survive an 80 pound bulldozer on your chest while you're sleeping? I think I'd hear it coming. Either you grunting, trying to move it, or... <laughs> I'd just get a 40-pound forklift. <laughs> I have a forklift. RC forklift. Steve really liked it. <laughs> Chibs is in Visalia? I didn't, even, I didn't even know you were in California, Chibs. Or somewhere. My rift kit finally showed up. Any recommendations for motor ESC combo? I do want censored for crawling capability. I mean, trying to make a rift bounce and crawl is a thousand dollars. I no, I no, I don't think that's the price. Okay, that's not the price. If you come home with something like that, like <laughs> I'm not kidding you, I will make you take it back. <laughs> Like, I'll call RC Four Wheel Drive and tell them that they need to take this back. That this <laughs> is not happening. I don't think that's the price. I'm almost positive that's not the price. If it has more than three numbers in it, then it's not happening. I mean, sorry. It's a, it's like the, I think they have an infomercial. Just three easy payments. Yeah, uh. no. Two thousand two hundred sixty-five. Nope. Do you understand? It's like a. You, can you imagine how much a real bulldozer costs? 
And Josh says, I have a forklift, and Steve likes it. Like, that makes a difference. <laughs> Doesn't. Yeah, VS410 is three, more than three digits, but he works at Vanquish, so. It is not more than three digits, either. It is not. But either way. <laughs> My guess is he cleaned a six inch by ten inch spot on my work table. Only took most of the stream. <laughs> oh, four thousand. And it's only it's a fourteen scale. Can you imagine what a ten scale bulldozer would be? Oh my god. It comes with three Ginsu knives. <laughs> You can cut a penny in half. <laughs> and then cut a tomato. <laughs> Nicole still is not on board with the blue diamond pans, though. You saw one infomercial ever in your... It was impressive. It seems like it would cut so much cleaning time for you. My pans aren't that hard to clean with our non-stick Think pans. how much faster then. No, 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 no. Blue dime. Josh is going to cost you a set of new tires for Nicole's car for you to be able to get the bulldozer. Just saying. Thank you, Scott. Hit the like button. I need, I need you to get a hold of Durstein. Who? Mike Durstein. Who works for our drive. Well, I'm going to go ahead and delete his number out of your phone. <laughs> <laughs> I've got his email, his Facebook. You'd have to park a 10 scale dozer in your driveway. Real hydraulics, though. Yeah, exactly. Like it makes hydraulic noises, even. Well, you know how much I love noises. <laughs> oh, thanks. Happy belated anniversary. Oh, yeah. It was also our anniversary. It was. Her present's a combo present. Well, I told you that. Not to get me and not to give me anything on our anniversary because I didn't do anything. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Josh has and then you asked for something else after I had already ordered the other thing, and I was just like, and then I couldn't remember what it was that I asked you for. I don't know why I reminded you of it. I know. I'm so like, I'm gonna get it. Do you know Steve who worked at RC Four Wheel Drive? I don't remember a Steve there. I do like to watch um, QVC for the laughs. The what? Remember, we, we every once in a while, I'll turn it on just to see how silly it is. Yeah, it, it's ridiculous, it's though. I know. Uh-oh, don't think I should <laughs> wait <laughs> <laughs> Wait till that has issues every time. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But bulldozer noises. Moving dirt. Um, he could get uh the quiet drivers. I oh on my other printer I did, but this I got a Prusa printer and now it's just actually very quiet. We have been married for five years. Married for five and together for ten. I have a TA18T with about a thousand dollars in it. I'm that guy. Whoo! What's that? Team associated 18T, which was a uh, like a small scale little car that was you could. I mean, they they were soup. They had a ton of upgrades available back in the day, and obviously somebody was interested in buying them all. A useless RC bulldozer that could bulldoze the other useless RC. Sounds like a lot of use. I mean, I like, I think that that makes sense. Uh oh. QVC has that cool clock that the whole face opens up. You can see the inner workings, though. I know her. I know her all just. Have one. I know. Yeah. Wow. These guys, you're killing me. What? All of how much money they have in their trucks, their cars. They, I mean, there's some of these guys that spend crazy money on RCs. I, I can't understand it. 
<laughs> it's just, it's, I mean, it's just, honestly, it's, it's hard to fathom. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. I'm glad we agree. Ah. <laughs> uh, will you, uh, go re up my r rose? <laughs> I was going to go get something to eat anyway. TV, what are you doing, little one? Did you settle down? She's been sitting in here in the box for a while. Or oh, she was. Let's see. So hard to fathom. <laughs> yeah, Ben Ben and I have talked about it a number of times. Just like, can you imagine what these guys... <laughs> Can't you claim that bulldozers are on taxes? Absolutely. I need the write-offs. <laughs> she didn't. She didn't believe it. Eh, come on. I'm really surprised that they still used this transmission in this kit. I thought that they would have would have gone to the. Uh... Why is that not going in? Is that not a five by ten? I think I used a five by eleven by accident. And this is why Josh has a second account, just for his tiny trucks. Do have a second account. However, it is linked and Nicole can see all of it. So it's not hidden. Oh. <laughs> we don't have kids. Yeah, we, we don't have kids. So we don't have like other people we have to worry about sending to college other than our nephew, which Nicole has taken on that for him. magically. Um. Oh, I already put that bearing on. There we go. So, your gears are greased. Other half of the case on. And we need the spur gear and cover. Where is that thing? There it is. Josh, you forgot to mention. Wait, where'd I go? Josh, you forgot to mention the yard work you will do. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> right. Kitties. I'm Tom Andrews' wife, Maddie. Hello, Maddie. I've learned to love playing with RCs. <laughs> I, as a woman, appreciate you being on the show. Somebody appreciates you. Somebody appreciates you. She doesn't play with RCs, but she tolerates the fact that I do a lot, like all the time. Okay. We are cooking along. This is kind of our, we got the chassis to build after this, which is obviously a bit of a task but and I'm gonna get this thing is that the oh two five could you call that wine something manly from now on so it doesn't make me feel feminine <laughs> listen just because you know, you just got to accept it sometimes. Rosé, not bad. I'm fine. I, I'll, I'll accept my... Maybe call that wine Vanquish Tea. <laughs> I think the rest of the people at Vanquish would, would have a problem with me calling it that. All right, that now we need to put outside screw. Josh, are you having rose all day? <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm getting the t-shirt. It only comes in women's sizes though, which is so weird. We don't have kids, and I just had a thick bar of string cheese for dinner. 
<laughs> we, yeah, you eat like we have snacks for children in the house, but I, should, I know that's my issue. I shouldn't. Yeah, like how many string cheese have you ate today? Will you? Why do you say things? Fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Asshole, I'm leaving. <laughs> they were having more fun with you anyway. False. <laughs> Miss Andrews even said she appreciated you for putting up with well, thank you. such someone does. someone's ridiculous antics. God, no one likes watching this. Watching what? This. The Vanna White part? Yeah. I think that you're wrong. I think people actually enjoy that. I think it's weird. I don't know why my other camera stopped. Every once in a while, these things just act so freaking weird. It's so frustrating. But I was glad I had this queued up so that we could use it. It saved the night for you. God damn it. <laughs> like a Boy Scout, always be prepared. Were you in Girl Scouts? Yeah. For how long? A while. I had a vest full of badges. What? I did. I did all of them. I have a hard time believing that. I called you her. I mean, you were it. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Isn't it weird how it like cuts you yeah, off? <laughs> <the mic. laughs> Everyone's listening. I was a what? I mean, you were an adorable child. <laughs> I really were you and Emmett just ah. you're the worst <laughs> you can't prove if I was or not <laughs> you know. <laughs> I'm surprised you were in Girl Scouts. Why didn't I know that? Did you sell Girl Scout cookies? Yeah. Hmm. I feel like you're lying to me. <laughs> Not lying. I can't see my you. Mom and I can't see you being in Girl Scouts. I, I was. I absolutely You're so anti-establishment. <laughs> no. You are. Like, no. We even had a discussion about it tonight. Like, nah, group thing. I'm out. That's the the whole purpose of it. You are. I was on a team. What does that mean? I was on the water ski team. Oh, that's true. Nah, that's like, that doesn't count because it has boats. Okay. Anything that will get you on the water will, you would get into a creepy van if it said going to the lake. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> like, where are you guys going? You got a room? I mean, what what's a creepy van going to do to me? Be, like be creeped out by me. <laughs> What's up, nerds? Yeah, like <laughs> I don't think a creepy van has much like on me. <laughs> We're good. We're good. <laughs> you guys are lame. <laughs> yeah. 
who wants to take this pill I found? <laughs> that wasn't a really interesting talk we had the other day, though. About what? That one, that mystery. Oh, I don't, shut up. <laughs> I don't know what that was. I don't either. Like, I, like, I really don't know where this came from. Where it came from or why it was vacuumed. <laughs> like, or like. <laughs> it was, yeah, sealed in a. In a bag by itself. Like, it I, didn't come from either of us. Like, do you want to split it? <laughs> Throw it away. Fine. <laughs> I think I talked to Katie about it and I was like. Well, I mean, you don't want to take it in the morning, and, <laughs> but then you don't want to take it at night and be up all night. She's like, ah, I think you should try it. I was like, mm, I don't think I'm going to. Like, I'm just 35, Katie. Like, I shouldn't be taking pills that I just found in the corner. Like, well, you found it in your house. Yeah, I know. <laughs> like. <laughs> <laughs> Like try, I'm on like the website trying to figure out what the symbol on it means. <laughs> like, I don't see it on here. This website doesn't have it. <laughs> Fine, I'll throw it away. Used to be so much fun when you were 34. <laughs> Huh. I'm just saying. <laughs> Thought. <sighs> Turns out the pill was a Pez the whole time. <laughs> oh, we would have both been able to identify that. Yeah. <laughs> like if it was candy, we'd have known. Like, oh, that, that's exact. I know exactly where that came from. <laughs> <laughs> if it was any kind of candy, I'd be like, yeah. <laughs> Mine. <laughs> yeah. But no. Yeah, so we threw it away. We did the responsible way. I <laughs> know. Lame. This is more entertaining than watching my drunk relatives talking crap about stuff that happened in the 90s. <laughs> we haven't been back to Kansas City in a while, huh? No. Oh, man. <laughs> GP, what are you eating? It better not be a mystery bill. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good thing it was shrink wrapped <laughs> or heat, heat sealed whatever uh, we need to see him sitting up in that wow that's really tell them about it tell them Somebody. Tell him. Oh, he's so mad. You big mad? It was the back bag flex sealed. Oh, maybe it did come from that. No. It totally could have. Phoenix sent us that. Phoenix. Uh oh, what happened? You hit back. Phoenix, did you send us a mystery pill <laughs> from one of the ladies at the. One of the ladies in the uh, <laughs> found it one. Chief's gonna be fear and loathing. Every once in a while, Phoenix sends us uh, photos of things he finds in golf carts. Oh god, I can't even imagine. Blake Denley gave us five dollars. Thank you, Josh. Is there a micro servo dig mount for the VS four ten with VFD transmission? There is not, Blake. Um, it probably wouldn't be that hard to three D print one, but I've never never thought about draw drawing one up. I like using. Shorty stubby servos, but I've never tried using a micro. I like the reliability of the larger servos a little bit better, but you probably get it to work with a good micro. He said, Maybe, maybe. <laughs> if it was from Arizona, if anything fell out of it, it would have been meth <laughs> or a blue pill. Hey, Josh, thanks for your skill news update. Yeah. <laughs> there is more than a couple of times I bought something because you have your videos you did. Oh, geez, hey, sorry. Click the link in the description and buy it. And then they'll know that I it came from me. Yeah. And then I get then I get some some points, like some some attaboys. What? Is it a Nike symbol? Those are all. <laughs> <laughs> 
No, it was a weird like. Okay. So, I know, I remember exactly what it looked like. Mm, Matt Conley would like to know Phoenix. What's the weirdest thing you found in a golf cart? That would be a good. That would be a good. Uh, you lost a lot of viewers from your drug talk. Says the squarest guy. Like, I'm mainly trying to figure it out to figure out where you were, be where have you been? <laughs> Ever. I did see that preview of the Tom Arnold's sister being the meth queen or something. Yeah. That was bizarre, but you have to have Discovery Plus to watch it. We don't have Discovery Plus. We have every other streaming service that you sign up for. I mean, I had it for the free week of it. And oh, then, is that what it was? Yeah, and then I, was I, say, I was like, I'm pretty sure I saw it. Yeah, but then I got rid of it, obviously. Nicole is the best at signing up for the free trials and then canceling. I'm pretty proud. I've never canceled a free trial. Never once. I mean, I don't, I've never signed up for one unless it was something I wanted, but I've never canceled a free trial. Wow. That's how they get you, is that most people are like me. Well, not just like me, but. Close. I, as soon as I do, I put a reminder in my phone or I go directly, I do them through Amazon and then I go directly to Amazon and as soon as I do it and hit to cancel it, you can pay for that shit. Except for <laughs> Disney Plus is the only one that I'll pay for. There's always Disney Plus. Gotta watch Hamilton somewhere. Alexander Hamilton. <laughs> something about him halfway there or something. I'm intrigued by the meth. I mean, she's from Iowa, so I'm always curious how stupid it will make us look. She was from Iowa? I guess. What comp class is a box stock Axel Wraith 1-9 fall under? Can't find class rules for um, the build. That would be class two because it comes with a nearly 4.75 tire. Uh, it doesn't have... Cha Ooh, actually, no. It doesn't have chassis rails, so it doesn't fit into class two. Man, it would put you in class three, which would not be a good class for that truck. It doesn't really fit into a class very well. Um, I do believe that there's a couple of companies that make frame rails that go into it. I think I want a set at Nationals that I might have here. And I have a Wraith 1.9 here. Hmm. Uh, anywho. Uh, it doesn't fall into a Sorka class well. Because ru rules are stupid. And and it just doesn't always, you know, paint the full picture. <gasps> what? <laughs> Phoenix find something good? Yeah. Oh, what was it? I think the except for the Adams haven't said Artisty Law. <laughs> He's from Artisty Law. I think the weirdest thing I found a golf cart was a stuffed pet cat, not a doll, an actual cat that was a pet. Okay. Why? And they left it by accident in their golf cart? Why would you even have it? And then, like, you obviously, like, it must have seemed like a good idea at the time. And then by that time, you're just like, ah, crap, I have that stuffed cat. Like, <sighs> you would have stuffed. I mean. No. No? No. Couldn't do it? No. I think that's, I mean, that's fine. If that's You've fine. talked about it before. No, I talked about making Sappy into, like. Oh, yeah, you talked about making our one cat into, like, one of the things like you put. Like a muff, like, yeah. <laughs> like my hand. <laughs> because she's so soft and pretty, like. When you die, I'm going to. I'm going to skin you. That's that was, worse. That was a joke. I mean, I wasn't really going to do that. Well, obviously, you're not going to do it. But that's a messed up thought, regardless. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you said that more than once. That was that numerous. Oh, she's so pretty. Her fur's so pretty. She's so pretty. I'd love to wear her to a gala. Yeah, all of the gala, <laughs> the all of the black tie affairs that I go to. Sookie, uh-uh. Let's not <laughs> turn you into a did bed you, warmer. Did you ever see the stuffed cat quadcopter? Yes. That was the rave that was of yucky. I did not like that. That was, that was the rave of the internet in like 2013. That was yucky. It was weird. I didn't like that. Yeah, I love my cat, but I don't 
want you to be stuff so I have you forever love my cat. No. I mean, it would just be weird when you like had to vacuum it every once in a while, like Yeah, and like what if their hair I just no, I <laughs> start getting a bald spot from where you cut it. <laughs> yeah, like like oh like, yeah, like, <laughs> like a just... worry stone. <laughs> like, ah, oh, this is this is awkward. <laughs> The eye pops out. <laughs> I just, I don't. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> yeah, my wife has dog's teeth and ashes and urn boxes. Yeah, we have that. We have those. The ashes. I have my cat's ashes. Absolutely. Yep. We have it in our, with our valuables. It is. Like, the the very few things that we have in a, a small bag of things that we need to get like things that are in our go bag if a wildfire comes yeah. through one of the very few things is our cat's remains yeah oh my god a friend of mine wants to be cremated and have her ashes put in an etch sketch so her future grandkids can still play with her that's pretty hilarious what what else? I would, well, your ashes just sit in the. I want. I want to be turned into a diamond. Well, you're bougie. I know, right? <laughs> Josh, you can't judge wearing Crocs and listening to ICP while putting brass on a TRX four. Not wearing Crocs right now, thank you. Um, and there has been several times recently where I've left the house and then called Nicole and told her that I couldn't do the errand that I was talking about because I wore my Crocs outside of the house. <sighs> Like, cancel that. I'm only doing the drive through portion of this mission. Uh, right. Uh, what? Weirdest thing for me was when we were doing repost. Just remember when you're behind on your payments to take your toy collection out. Honestly, do you remember how many times they would find that on like live PD? Yeah. Like all the time. Yeah. People just. Like, why do you travel so I much with it? I don't know. I've seen. Don't sell any pets. Josh will sell them to a blind kid. Oh, pretty bird. Pretty bird. Pretty bird. Pretty bird. <laughs> 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 You sold my dead bear to you're, a blanket? Yeah. <laughs> you're not too good for Crocs. Nobody cares. Oh, <laughs> I, I don't disagree there. I am I wear the crap out of them. I just don't. They're a little big is yeah. the problem. If they weren't too big for me, like like three or four sizes too big, then, and I'm talking half sizes. I, the kids in the airport were wearing them. Like the younger, you, they were, like the, you know, like. My packaging girls. All of them wear Crocs. Yeah, like it's cool now. I mean, I wouldn't wear them, but it's cool. <laughs> I mean, yeah. We're not trying to be cool is the problem. There's a woman that has her stuffed dog in the back of her golf cart. Been there for years. I mean, okay. I get. When I worked at the airport, we had to open any bags that made noise. So many lady toys and men's bags. <laughs> 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 ben wants to know if you there's anything going up on the garage sale soon. Ben, you can just have, take your pick. Well, you're a clown, so. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? What is that from? Just because you have shoes that are too big. Yeah, well, there's that. I did remove a number of vehicles from this room last weekend. A large number. What? Then it then they just magically came back in? These were all still in here. I don't where where did you did you have them on top of each other? Some of them. There's literally no space here. There's still there's nothing on the floor in this room. Oh, I don't even know how what cameras what I saw a live woman carrying it or I saw a woman carrying a live chicken around in the Dollar Tree today. <gasps> where? What state are you in? I must know. That is incredible. That's gotta. Do you live in Louisiana? 
I just have to imagine it's like it's probably, voodoo. Probably California. It could have been, but I'm I'm imagining she's like gonna go cut the head off it later. Yeah, San Diego. Oh wait, no. Yeah, San Diego. Knew what? It. Fucking knew it. California, man. I called Josh today because I was very upset because I'm just gonna say this. Um, people in California don't know how to load trucks or put things like never seen anything like it. And somebody had an entire truck pickup truck load of dirt in the bed of their open pickup truck and it wasn't tarped. Nicole's very passionate about properly tarping your load. Just I didn't <laughs> I'm whatever. I meant it act like literally. Shut up. <laughs> Are you drunk? No, like you were ser you were super pissed about this guy who didn't have a tarp over his dirt. I know because it was blowing everywhere. Like who doesn't You're like I had to pass him because I was gonna start sneezing. Like you were passionate. Yeah. All right, now it's Washington chassis time for not securing a who tarps dirt besides dump trucks? Got. You have to tarp dirt. Like, that's so rude to not tarp dirt. It's so easy. She was mad, mad. I know, it's rude. <laughs> There's dirt flying everywhere. <laughs> like, get some rocks and put a tarp on it. Like a n normal person. All we are is dust in the wind, Nicole. <laughs> You're my boy, Blue. Well, you shouldn't drive around with mulch and tarps all the time. That's rude. <laughs> that is rude. I don't. You shouldn't do it. You just went on Nicole's shit list. You did it. Right, dirt's never dry in Missouri, true. All right, where is... Great, matter fab, thank you for the $5. Did you see the video of the guy with the tarp in the back of his truck and filling it with gas? Oh, my God. Nope, didn't see that. I saw a lot of people putting gas in things that were not going to hold gas. I did not see one with a tarp. I saw a guy putting a plastic bag that was leaking like crazy into a wicker basket. Perfect. Perfect. I know. Scott O'Landers and Nicole's right. Thank you. Tar yes. Not yeah, if my yard swing gets a crack in it because you didn't tarp your load, I'm going to be pissed. <laughs> <laughs> that gas video was a... Was a what? Somebody said the gas video was a prank. I mean, half of them you saw, they felt like they had to be. I mean, people are stupid, babe. People are... People are stupid. I agree. I saw a Yaris the other day with a somebody had put a sticker on it that said oversized load. Was it tarped? <laughs> hmm. So funny. <laughs> so funny. No. Tarp your load. What about the video of the girl pushing the bear off the retaining wall? That was crazy. Oh, that was wild. I'm chuffed if you tarp your load. <laughs> Who says that, chuffed? Matt. What does that mean? I've asked him that exact thing several times. I'm like, can you define chuffed for me? I feel like that's a noise that horses make. <laughs> right? <Yeah. laughs> that's what I thought it meant. Yeah. <laughs> Or that tigers make, like tigers chuff at you, like, like, that's a thing, that's what they call them, like, say. Do they? Yeah. I don't, I've, I've literally asked him, I said, what is chuffed? I mean, I'm sure, it's probably right. I'm, I'm sure it is. Like he would, Matt's like, well, the roots of it come from <laughs> deep British background no, of, he of knows bocce he ball players. Big words. He has. What did you say the other day? Remember Matt, Matt said something about a death knell? And we always thought it was death nail. 
Yeah. But it was Nell, and I had to look it up, and it was like a the a bell that rang when you died. Yeah. And it was yeah. And then we were both smarter, and we agreed we wouldn't Shuffed. wouldn't talk Shuffed. about learned to learn to pronounce adjective informal British. Very pleased. Chuffed is English for stoked. Stoked. See, stoked. There we go. We can um, we can start. I like stoked. I use stoked. I don't know. Are you almost done? We're getting pretty pretty close. Hurt near? No offense. Is that a word in the dictionary? It's one that I grew up with a lot. A what? Hurt near? Hurt near? Yant to? Yeah, yant to. Hurt near? Those are both <laughs> those are both words I grew up yeah, with a lot. Yawn out here. <laughs> yawn out here, huh? <laughs> we things you grow up in the Midwest with. Yeah. Nicole and I still respond to people whistling. Like, oh, wait, Dad, what? I, I mean, I whistle for you when I can't find you. You can't whistle, though. Yeah. <laughs> you can't hear that out of a seven-foot radius. Uh, when we were in that castle a few weeks ago, I couldn't find you and I was whistling for it. And you're like, I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> Sound like a rabbit in distress. <sighs> My favorite was yonder. Yonder. Yeah, but that's like a full word. Yeah. We like to take and put several words all into just. Yeah. <laughs> Someday I want to learn how to speak English. <laughs> okay, I need a tarp your load t-shirt. <laughs> you know what? I'll make one because I think it's rude not to. Tarp your load. <laughs> I think that would be a good shirt. You would do well with that one. Yeah. Where the is the lid to this receiver box? Matt, ben wants to know. I, ben has questions like he doesn't have your phone number. Best camera to capture RC crawling footage. Honestly, Ben, a GoPro, the new GoPro 9. It's just easy. It's got like the horizon stabilization. It makes stuff nice and smooth. You can get good wide angle, so it's easy to do it. Because I always have to film with one hand and drive with the other. So it's just the easiest. You get the nine black. It's got good battery life. It's the best GoPro that's been out in quite a while, which isn't saying a ton, but it's when I go for like running videos, like vloggy shit, that's the one. There it is. I got it. How about Nicole start selling tarps that say this is trash? <laughs> My grandma said worst and wasn't even from the middle. What? Is somebody somebody put an R in washer? <laughs> Washing machine. Yeah, there's no R. Wash. Washing machine. Yes, exactly. Now you've nailed it. You are one step closer. I don't know. Grandma always said that. Wash? My dad, my dad says that's just where it came from. I just, the wash machine. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Great matter of fact, I have his phone number, Ben, if you want it. We're getting close. We're chassis assembly now. And then it's just putting some stuff together. Yeah, you're losing me. I know. I got like five hours of sleep last night. Yeah. So Window or window? Window. Window. The windows. Yeah. Roof. Roof ain't rough. So y'all can deal with my washing machine. <laughs> I still don't think that I say roof weird. Yeah, you say roof. Roof. Are you sure? Yeah, roof. On the roof of the house. Yeah. Gray matter if I was posting it to a special Facebook page. <laughs> you know what? I've been needing a new phone number for some years now. I've had the same one for like... Man. Probably going close to 20 years. I've been having a cell phone for 20 years. I had my phone number when it was AT&T. And then it was singular. 
yeah. And then it went back to AT&T. I haven't even had a cell phone for 20 years. I got a cell phone in 97? Ugh. I, I don't understand. What? He says, I would never, honestly. Oh my gosh, we well, know you're fine. <laughs> but seriously, I think it's hilarious. You should have been. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got a I got a cell phone when I could drive. I didn't. My parents were like, go to the gas station, ask for directions. <laughs> I, do, I sometimes I don't relate to your rich kidness. What? I'm serious. I don't. I don't want the spit on there. Because it's the wrong size. Mm. That's why there's multiple sizes. <laughs> Okay, matter of fact, share his number to the Ripper 2 Facebook group. <laughs> you don't have to, don't block him, that's funny. <laughs> Who had a beeper? Oh, I did not have a beeper. No. One no. of my friends had one of those. Um, that was drug dealers in our in my hometown. My home, if you had a, if you live in a town of eight, 600 people when I was in high school and you had a beeper, you were a drug dealer. Like, that, that's just the rules. Oh, that's not. One of my friends had the. Remember, it was like the original text thing. Oh, yeah. But like no one else had it. Right. So they could get like sports scores and that like, was it. Well, I don't even think it had the internet. I mean. Yeah. I. Yeah. No, I did not. I never had a. One of my friends had a beeper. And I think it was just like. You know, he was just like, he'd get a girlfriend and be like, beat me. 69. Like, <laughs> as opposed to any other beep yeah, you're going to get. Was that the sidekick? I thought the sidekick was the one. The sidekick was like the, the later phone one. That like yeah, that was like the nice up. phone setup. That was. She had that one too. Jeremiah Salbert gave us $5. Thank you. Like, Dropping off my Proline 70s rock band to be painted. It will look like a Nuka Cola delivery van. Nuka Cola? Should I know what that is? Oh my God, Alex is such a baby. What? I mean, like, not a baby, like... No, like a, a, young, a young kid. Yeah. In high school, I saved up to buy a smartphone, not nothing like Windows Mobile. Oh, I had a Windows Mobile phone, but not in high school. <laughs> that was Those became available after high school was over for this guy. My first smartphone was a Samsung Blackjack, and that was in 2007. <laughs> Ron, geez, I had a non-working pager and thought I was the shit. <laughs> Yeah, 2000, it was 2006 or 2007 when I got my first smartphone. And it was life-changing. I just remember having that phone and then, like, accidentally hitting the internet button and be like, fuck, my mom's going to be so pissed. <laughs> like, turn it off, turn it off, turn it off. Like, you just tried and hurt, hit it before it, like... I had started texting before they had made rules on texting. So, like, texts were free because it was, just wasn't a thing. Because, like, I had a Nokia phone that would uh, receive texts, but you could really only receive them from the internet, from, like, cert, like, I got my horoscope every day <laughs> or some shit like that. Like, things that, like, this is the only thing you could get as a text message. Do you know Warhammer 40K now? I do not know what that is. I mean, I... I just, I, I couldn't even imagine text messaging because we got, we got like, they were, it was like 50 cents a text message. Yeah. It, it did become that for sure. I can't remember when I picked it back up, like as a, as a thing. Neat. It doesn't have a lot of bump to it, does it? Well, yeah, you have to rotate it. That's the whole thing with this. Like pull the trigger and then rotate like righty tighty. Like you're tight. <laughs> Is he okay? I mean, I'm sure he's okay, but. Did you fall? Did you fall, little buddy? Yeah, you did, didn't you? Did you fall down? Did you okay? Did you fall down? Ah. <sighs> Oh shit, how did I drop that in the grease? Oh yeah, the push to talk was fun. 
Oh god, that was the worst. Know, Cause, especially because all the freaking hicks that I went to. Oh, they high had the school. big Motorola ones. The that, Nextel Motorola. Yeah. They were like bright yellow. Yeah. And we would be in Nova. we'd be in class in college, and you'd be sitting in there, and all of a sudden, I'd be like, 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 Smithers, you available to mow that lawn over on Forty <laughs> Second and Grant? And I was like, and then you used Forty Second, like Fourth and Grant. We only had like seven streets. You, it was like you could um, do it, and then you're like, oh, I could just call you, I guess. <laughs> like, yeah, like, like Kyle, like seriously, turn that shit off. And it was like you couldn't turn that part of them off or something. It was something stupid. The... Late to the party. What are the rules for tonight? Nicole gets angry <laughs> drinking game. <laughs> Talk about RC bulldozers. <sighs> So you do have kids. That's how parents talk to their babies. Some same tone and everything. Oh, I was just kidding. I mean, are you? You you don't talk like that to them. Oh God, yes. How about calling cards? Oh, I do remember those. I am fading away, but yeah, literally, I'm fading away. <laughs> that is not a trick that I needed you to learn. Uh, 438, 18 millimeter. So, yes, we're getting there. This chassis will be together quickly. And then we'll be done by nine. That was less than 30 minutes. Any advice on good waterproof electronics to use on the chassis as a mud truck? Um, a lot of the castle ones are waterproof. Um, a lot of the Holmes motors, or actually a lot of the Castle motors are labeled as waterproof as well. So, or brush motors are waterproof. If you're wanting to keep it a little on the cheaper side, which is always an option. <laughs> Just do the Thanos snap and fade away to the living room. <laughs> Hurry up and sing Johnny Be Good before it's too... <laughs> <laughs> do you remember the nextel crime deterrent phone no oh yes that was the best uh -uh. it was a commercial when he was in the locker room and it was like someone's like like my phone's got this and like my phone has crime deterrent he's like what he was trying to steal it and it comes out of me just chucks it at the dude's head it was like it doesn't break. Sexy. Oh. <laughs> Those things were pretty yeah. amazing. They were super durable. What C rating battery do you recommend for a drag car? Uh, I mean, it depends on your milliamp size because C rating and milliamp are a function of the amperage output. But uh, you'll probably, I mean, if you're running a, you'll want something capable of a couple hundred amps, probably, depending on your ESC, maybe more. Um, so if you're running a 50 C, then you'll want, or if you're running a 5,000 milliamp, you want at least a 40 C higher, the better 80, hundred C even better. We need headers. All the C. High C. Sunny D. What are you trying to hold in front of your face to make your face disappear? Anything black. It see, it's that's what's making it blend in. There you go. Chrome. <laughs> Chrome counteracts your black. Coming in next week with a balaclava on. A what? The, you know, like the head thing that you like wear when it's cold and it covers everything but your eyes. Uh oh. A hijab? Like a, no. Well, yeah, that as well, but. Or you could just fix your camera. I know, right? So, yes. But next week, we, actually, next week we're off. You have a week off next week. Why? Because I'll be in Denver. Ah, and then the week after that, I'll be in Charleston. Son of a... 
say sorry to the viewers. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Yes. A baklava. That's what I thought he said. <laughs> a baklava. That was what I thought he said, too. I yeah. was like, like, dessert? We're having dessert? <laughs> you were excited. Like, what? Are we eating dinner? I don't or did know. your string cheese and fig bar? I mean, that was my dinner. <laughs> Because he said chicken. Is that what? Because I was like, oh, chicken does sound kind of good. Did you say that? I mean, in my head I did. No, I said dessert. Yeah. Yes, I heard what you said in your head. No, you said winner, winner, chicken dinner. Pretty sure you said that. Maybe I said that. And then... And then you talked about bal baklava. Yeah, but, then, but before that, in my head, I was like... Yes, I totally heard what you said to yourself in your head. No, but I'm asking you if that's why you thought you it was. That's why you asked about dinner. No, because you said baklava, and I was like, "Oh, you talked about dessert," and then I was like, "Dessert sounds good, but I should probably eat dinner." <sighs> like an adult. Hmm. Granted, my mom's not watching. I can do whatever I want. Maybe she's watching. No, it's late there. It's late. Yeah. <laughs> He's going to Denver. I'm not going to Denver. I called her to ask if she wanted to go. She's like, I'm leaving the next weekend. I probably don't need to. Yeah. Sad day on the 520 floating bridge, longest floating bridge in the world. Second construction worker was killed. I was on site just after the first. I also did the first wheelie across it. Well, that's interesting. Yeah. Why am I not familiar with the floating bridge? I don't know, but. That. Is that down south? It like a uh, Louisiana. No, area? it was Dale C, so it must be in Saddle. Oh, I de I guess I definitely wasn't aware of a floating bridge up there. Euros sound amazing. Ooh, they do. We have a place here that makes not too they're not too bad. I usually just get it from a little lo camp. local place called the Pita Pit. Oh my God! Don't <laughs> say things like that. <laughs> It is not local. You're such an ass hat. <laughs> God. Little, little hidden spot. No. Local gym. No. <laughs> in every college town in America. Jeremiah Silver, give us $5. Thank you. Why don't y'all just get sushi? Mm, sushi. Sushi is good. But they close here early. I guess you could order right now. If you order now, we can quit by the time they're done. Okay. If it gets here before we're done, you can quit and walk away. You're such an asshole. <laughs> Don't joke about non-local restaurants around the globe. All right. And battery tray. So yeah, if any of you are in uh, the Denver area, hopefully you'll be near the Red Rocks comp next weekend. Looking forward to it. 465 is the 10 millimeter. That doesn't mean you can quit now, though. You can do it from in here. You can do that from in here. Pita Pit is amazing. <laughs> What's that? Oh, wait. No, that one's supposed to be longer. 467 is a 16 mil. That seems better. She's in the wind. Uh, it's the Star Trek stream. Yes. Well, and I would have the normal setup going, but like I said, uh, as you can see, our normal one is frozen. So this was a backup. But. It saved us from too much hassle during the stream, and I, I don't mind this. 
as you can see here, we're building an SMT 10. <laughs> Never had Del Taco. Alex, you're not missing a whole lot. Del Taco's okay, but not, nothing to, nothing to write. I mean, I prefer Taco Bell. Josh, your headers need to be flipped. Flipped? That's the right way. You're crazy. And I'm not saying you're totally wrong. I mean, I'm saying you're wrong, but I could be. I could be wrong still as well. I've been craving zombie burger. I've never heard of a zombie burger. And this front one also a four thirty six. Culver's. I've never been to a Culver's. There was a Culver's right. In that cat so loud. Okay, and then we need front electronics tray. That jammed in. Okay. I'm craving cheesecake for some reason. Now everybody talking food. <laughs> I-90 sunk in the 90s. Wow. See, learned so much. I never knew there was floating highways up there. Er, interstates, I should say. 436 is 12 millimeter button head. Culver's frozen. Never had. Did you ever eat at Culver's? Yeah. What? Butter burger? Like, really? That's some Midwest astounding stuff. I've never heard of a butter burger. Can you come here and read this so that we can get. You can order it here. Read through. <laughs> All right. Oh, more little tabs. You didn't, you're saying you didn't want input from me? Or? Right. Oh. I don't want input from anyone. You don't want your sushi choices should be your own? Yeah. What about avocado, cucumber, crab, soft shell crab, smelt I, eggs? I really don't care. Whatever you want is fine. Until I get it and then you're, you bitch about it. Well, I mean. <laughs> Every time. Like, don't get a bunch of tempura. Do you want me to get that yummy yummy again? Yummy yum roll? Yeah. Yeah, that was good. That was kind of like a rainbow roll, right? No, it was the one with good cream cheese. Oh, that was good. Oh, God, that was really heavy, though. That's fine. It's fine. <laughs> trying to watch my figure is all. Sucky. Um, Better hurry. They close at nine. I know. That's what I'm trying to do. <laughs> Nicole, can you move? Can you move you and Josh to the other side of the screen? <laughs> As if I know how to do that. Ian says happy belated birthday. Thank you. Sookie's just out there strolling on the cat wheel. She only does it for attention. So she only goes over and jumps on it when you're watching her so that you will continue to watch her and give her pets. And she will scream at you if you don't watch her. She's an exhibitionist. Is that what you call it? Yes. I just want a freaking Rambo roll. Come on. They have 6,000 rolls. Which are basically all the same. <laughs> Stabby Josh, Edamame Fund. <laughs> Thank you. What's up, Chief? I will cover up the grease since you're walking the table. Oh my God. 
thing with him, $15 for a rainbow roll. Bruh. All right. All right, getting close now. 436, 12, button yet. Oh my God, I hate DoorDash. $2 for a regular tourist advance fee, $4 for a delivery fee, $7.68 for fees and estimated taxes. Oh, i sorry. i sorry, buddy. i sorry. You good boy? Yes. Okay. One side of the chassis, or most of the chassis is complete. Now we can drop on the other. God, come on. I guess I could just start. No, don't drink my beer. You can't have beer. He is quite the uh, cup liquor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, only because we've both been drinking is the only reason that I would door dash. Otherwise, I don't use it anymore because it's such a joke. No, but I had two glasses of wine. Yeah. And that's, that would be in, what would it be? What's the word? In. Intoxicated? No. Well, uh, inappropriate? I don't know. Illegal? The fact that I can't come up with the name is probably enough. Illegal? I don't think that I'm actually to that point, but it would be... Gosh, you're in Mike Jason's structure. What are you doing, Kat? You're not in Chief's way, are you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Really? Immoral? Is immoral the word I'm looking for? Maybe. Irresponsible. Irresponsible. Thank, Thank you. Yes. Irresponsible. God. A word that isn't even in my vocabulary, evidently. Ill advised. I love it. <laughs> Keep it common. <laughs> I think we got it. Zoomy no. headers point up, the ones with mufflers point down. These are, and these are up. Brum. Right. If and Matt were watching, he would have been screaming it. He, oh, yes. Matt would have had nine other words that he could have used. Semantics. <laughs> chief, chief, god damn it. He may not be on that. No, 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 the top's not on. He's gonna fall through it into the computer. Come here, baby boy. Oh, I know your daddy's so mean. Kid never gets to have any fun. He rules the Dude, house. Do you get to have any fun, Ebel? I know you don't. There we go. And da, 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 da. got oh. two home tours set up for tomorrow. Hopefully, we can get one. We offered 160k over asking, and still <laughs> the last one. Oh my god! That is absolutely ridiculous. Yeah. <sighs> wow. Impaired. No, I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure that irresponsible was the word I was looking for because I'm not any read, but I feel like it would be irresponsible Silly. of me to. Tell He's... Matt he needs to send you the tiny tennis balls to keep stuff from falling in the headers. <laughs> Is that a thing? <laughs> okay. Just don't jump up there. When they start freaking out now, we go get them uh, the body. We call it, we just say, where's the body? Yes. We've got the Proline van body, and that's what they get to play in. And we just put it on top of one of them, and they are quiet. Yep. <laughs> you just put a cat inside of a proline van body and they quiet down. Yeah. Nicole was worried about lack of oxygen, but that is definitely not a problem. 
ever have a good night. Bend, Oregon. Every listing goes for 250k over asking. A good home price is 820. <laughs> That's inconceivable. See, I got all kinds of I words at the top of my tip of my tongue now. Ignoramus. Ignoramus. Idiotic. Oh, Jeffy McSchlitz. Irrelevant now. <laughs> Do they do ladder offers out there? What in the... E no I'm idea. glad we don't have to know what that is right now. I mean... My girl dashes and it helps with the bills and she enjoys it. Well, I'm glad and I I just would rather give them a bigger tip and not pay DoorDash all of the fees. That's my issue. It's crazy how many... I mean... By all means... <laughs> Get it however you got to, but. Of course I tip. Who wouldn't tip their door dasher? I thought, I mean. Isn't, isn't there like a minimum at least that you have to? No, I, no? I mean, I don't think so. Either way, I mean. But like, how could you Service not? people, you, I would tip. Yeah. I don't know that there's any service. Pe well, I guess that's not true. There's some service people you don't tip. Who? Like, if you go for your, if you get your vehicle serviced. Well, yeah. But like, I'm just saying they like. They don't work for on tips. I know. I'm just saying like beyond that though. Yeah, no, I would just rather they not charge them all the fees so that I can give a bigger tip. But I can't imagine not tipping, but I've also always worked in jobs where they, you live on tips and you just have to. It's just good karma. <gasps> What? I almost spent $100 on Shake Shack. I was like, hell. Oh. That. I mean, I've had. Because they. No, they make. I've it, had nights in my 20s where I would probably have done that. Yeah, but they make it more expensive on the app, too. On sort of. Like, they're. It's more expensive. The, everything's like a dollar more. Every menu item's like a dollar more. Really? On DoorDash. Yeah. Yeah. I was unaware. It's like eBay where you can offer your maximum, but only 1K over the highest bidder. What? All right. Well, that's sucky. Yeah. Don't tip Josh. He falls over too easily. Mike Jay's on fire <laughs> Setting him up and knocking him down. Yeah. Just on it. Hi, son. cleaning his stuff and. Oh, Mike J was the one who was cleaning yeah. his, dirt, his bench. Watching him 144 HPI, whatever that is. DPI, dots per inch. 1080p is high def. 10, 1080 in the up and down, and then 1920. Here's a tip don't fry bacon naked. Was that Phoenix? No, that was Grey Matter Fab. Oh, that just sounds like something Phoenix would say. It does. Now I really but, want a Smash Burger. <laughs> is that what we got? We've not. No, ever. Habit Burger. I need those. You don't tip lot lizards, Jesse. Shh. It's per tooth. Wait for the applause. My and kids and I used to go sushi bar hopping, but we stopped and we spent 300 bucks on sushi in an afternoon. Wow. How many kids, I guess, first? I think they're, I've heard that kids are expensive to feed anyway. And you have to do it almost every day. What? I think if he was going bar hopping, I'm assuming his children are older. Oh, I guess that's a good point. Yeah. But sushi bar hopping. Does that necessarily mean older? Uh oh. You know what I mean? See where I'm going? Picking up what I'm putting down? H. Bag H. I'm just trying, I'm just thinking about what, like. You're just picturing your sushi right now. Yeah. 
Yeah, almost sent sixty dollars on DoorDash for five guys. Called in the order and spent twenty five. Exactly. I will always go pick up the food instead. Absolutely. Unless it would be Unless irresponsible, ill advised, irrelevant, illegal, ir illegal. silly, dumb. <laughs> Yeah, all of those. And then we would not. And then we will suck it up. We could. We, it's not like we don't have food in the house that we could make, but. Good luck getting me to talk you into making me a sandwich right now. Do you want me to make you a sandwich? No. Because we have sushi <laughs> coming. <laughs> I just like. That was the one thing you did for me on my birthday. I did. I made her a sandwich on her birthday. Look at how weird it looks when you're standing up next to me instead of. This is stupid. You're stupid. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this there's a severe lack of the countersunk screws that I am needing. Delivery gets fifteen percent. Oh, but still not it, son of a bitch. Read that. I want the inside scoop. What? Delivery uh, gets 15%, pickup gets 10%, and if they are serving me in an establishment, it's never less than 15%. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, you just thought I was, it was always tip 20%. I mean, I've had, for generally, yes. But. Unless they really suck. That's exactly. That's and the you thing. Can suck it because I had done your job. And it's not that. I mean, it's hard, but you don't need to be a dick. <laughs> <sighs> yes, we've had plenty of those. Is it bad? I've never had any food delivered. No, including pizza. I, pizza is like one of the worst to me. She would, she would like want to have pizza delivered. I'm like, I'll go pick it up. It's four minutes away. It's four minutes away. If they want, even if it's free, like I would rather go drive and pick it up than wait the extra 45 minutes. Because a lot of the delivery would be free other than just the tip. But still, I'm just like, I'll go pick it up. I don't want to wait. Squints Polidors gave us $5. Thank you. Thank you, Squints. Oh my God, hey. BS410D, 44 housings. I need some. Here is some money for the camera repair fund. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Uh, D44 housings were, we've been doing a number of those. Um, I think we even had a bunch up last week, but I do believe that there's continuing to be more. That's, I think my neighbors only get food delivery. I never see them come home with groceries. Well, you get groceries delivered. I do. It's not like a seeker. We've talked about it many times. I mean, and I guess you say that it doesn't cost any extra. I mean, I don't know if I believe you. It doesn't cost extra. Okay. It's free. Okay. Okay. Then I only took $5. I'm sorry. But. D uh, yeah. I'm tipping on percentage. Not tipping 10%. I'm not doing $15 on my grocery bill. Like you're literally just carrying the bags from your van to my door like that I get that's a good point because somebody's one of the cats is digging in the shelves oh it's Sookie and Chief are chasing each other through the shelves Lone Star RC guy gave us ten dollars thank you here's ten dollars from one RC guy to another hopefully they never find the cure thanks for another great Friday night <laughs> thank you sir the camera just needs to be restarted. Nothing. Tried that. It's. I think it's. So I run my camera into a capture card, and then the capture card USBs to the computer, and sometimes the capture card acts a little funny. And I had one act funny before the stream started, so I switched because I have two. No one. No one cares. There is a joke. Not if you're using Instacart, they they shop for you. No, I use Whole Foods. They, it's free. And they shop for you. I think he's saying that the delivery person is shopping for you if you're using Instacart. Jeremy, you gave us $5. Thank you. Josh, you don't need sushi. You just need some Casey's pizza. <laughs> we don't have Casey's out here. There, that is true. That is not an option out here.
but I do miss Casey's Pizza on occasion. Somebody stuck. Oh, it sounds like a weird. Oh shit. He's over on the left. You okay, buddy? He's fine. Now Sookie's doing it. Yeah, I think it was Sookie. Is she going to puke inside my shell? Did you swallow something? Screw liquor. Did you swallow something? Is she okay now, though? You okay? You okay? Nicole is ripping things off the shelf so you okay she's gonna go back in there this is why you need to pick up your shit josh she was in the shelves literally things put away that's where she started hacking i don't think that that's my fault i deny responsibility for that incident <laughs> that's not true <sighs> It is nine o'clock though. So I'm free. I think that we call this for the evening. We can enjoy our sushi. I will get this thing made into a roller. Maybe Sunday. Maybe I'll finish this truck on Sunday. Sunday morning live stream is 10 a.m. Has the order been picked up yet? No. Oh. Is it going to get denied? No. Are you going to have to make me a sandwich? <laughs> You're hoping not? No. 9.39 and 9.49. Ugh. Yes. Yes, I know. All right. Well, I think we have had a good run, everybody. It's the small versions of of us. Not that. How do you feel about that? Is that better or worse? Do you like it more? Do you like <laughs> camera A, camera B, camera A, camera B? Like, I just, it's just weird. Like, you can't see my hair. It's just bizarre. It is, right? Like. Thank you, everybody. Yeah. It was. A good one. Good Friday night. I'll get this thing finished up probably Sunday. So, with that... <laughs> Great matter, Fab says night, guys. Call you later. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Much appreciated. We will see you on Sunday and then Wednesday and then I'm leaving and I will be back. So, thanks again. We will see you next time. Bye.